Hello, everybody. We're back here on the Moosey Grind. The Moosey, Moosey, Moosey Grind. So what we're going to be doing today is trying to stack some fives in our main zones because at this point in the grind, I did probably like another five or six hours of grinding yesterday off stream. And we got a lot of it shot down. I would say we got about half the map shot down. Maybe a little bit more even. But we still got a lot of solos that are level threes and fours. So the goal is going to be to try and stack some fives in the main herds today. And then uh, once we go ahead and get all those stacked up, we'll go through and try to shoot down some of the solos. Because the solos have been a pain, man. They have been a pain. How many kills in? 153. So we're honestly still pretty early in the grind. It's honestly crazy how quickly this map has managed down. Given I could be missing some, but I estimate we've got at least half of it shot down. But there's definitely a possibility I'm missing some zones. Definitely a possibility. I'll go ahead and show you guys this though. Because this zone over here is looking pretty good. Hey, Ben, how's it going? How is everybody doing today? Hope you're doing great. Let's see. Do a little time reset here. Boom. Markuli, thank you for the super chat. Hope you're doing amazing. Really appreciate it, dude. There he is. We got a five right here. And a level two in this zone as well. So this zone is all ready to go. Not going to need to go here at all today, unless we get to a point where we can go ahead and shoot all of the uh, fives, but that probably won't happen anytime soon because we got to shoot those solos down. Is this? That's a female. We're going to run uh, this coast. Actually, yeah, yeah, we're going to stack first. What am I talking about? I'm getting sidetracked already. We got to stack up all the main zones, then we can go around and shoot the rest of the solos down. Hey, Hither, uh, Chalet, we got Parker, Raided, Jordan, DSM, we got Ben, we got Hunting Gods, we got The Outdoorsman, Oscar, Fabs, Crocslayer, Lath, Gaming, E, Bear Hunter, how's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing good. Hey, ma'am, <laughs> leave him alone, okay? So rude. We do not want a two here because this is a main zone. Also, this is the other five we got stacked. Sadly, it's a solo, but it looks like it's going to be a diamond. So I decided to stack it anyway. Having one solo stacked isn't going to hurt us too much, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Ben, I mean, you'll get one eventually, man. Just keep going. Never give up, they say. Never give up, man. Hey, Raylan, how's it going, dude? Thank you for the super chat. Hope you're doing phenomenal. Do I do fishing IRL? Yes, I do fish IRL. I do indeed. What's a solo? A moose that's alone. A moose that does not have a herd. If you see a zone that only has one moose in it, that's a solo moose zone. The confusing thing, though, is sometimes multiple solos can be using the same zone. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. Come on, buddy. Why, why, why are you turning? That is just unacceptable. Faze, thank you so much for the super chat. Much appreciated. Hope you're doing amazing. <laughs> yes, it's, oh my God. You guys didn't see it earlier today. We did a stream with Jaxie Beard on the second channel. It was quite a bit of fun. Played some Dark and Darker. Quite a fun game to play. If you guys didn't know, we do a lot of uh, streams on the second channel for like other games that isn't uh, hunting or fishing related. So like all other games that aren't uh, related to hunting or fishing, they go on the second channel and... We usually have quite a bit of fun over there. Got to join uh, Jaxi and his buddy Sway today to play some Dark and Dark, and we did pretty decent. We did uh, we did pretty good. 
It was a lot of fun. Definitely some more Jaxie Beard collaborations happening in the future. For sure. I mean, I created it, Mr. Call of the Wild, so a 10. 10. It's exactly the way I wanted them to make it. That's a that's an easy 10 right there, I tell you. There's our smokable moose. Getting those moose smoked, man. We're actually able to get some quick kills on them finally. Got our, our setup going good. Last stream we killed like maybe 30 or 40 moose in like four hours. It was uh, rough, but you know, that's the, that's what the beginning of the grind is like. Gotta take it slow so you can later take it fast. Though we're still very early in this grind, so we're not super fast yet, but we're faster. We've at least got tents set up at a lot of locations that have uh, herds. So that's a positive, you know. And so far, they've been consistent, which is also really good. They've been very consistent so far. Two eleven, looking beautiful. Let's see. Now let's go here, probably. Uh, there is no great one wolf, uh, Braden. Uh, yeah, Oscar, that's a good one. Anything 270 plus is pretty good. About how many main zones did you have in a fallow grind? Um, I don't think it's necessarily about how many zones. It's about how many you're killing per run. If you can kill around... Like... If you can kill between like 10 and 15 fallow every run, then that's how many zones you need. However many zones it requires for you to get those kills per run, then that's what you need. Just shoot for 10 to 15 kills a run and you'll be doing fine. Next great one, elk or mule deer would be super cool. Oh, I'd like either of those. That'd be awesome. Either would be great. Come on, Mr. Moosey. Taking your sweet time to float, are you? Can't say that I approve. Taking his sweet time. There we go. 153. Boom. Now, let's go over here. Turkey video would be nice. I don't know. I'm not really too interested in, like, focusing on turkeys. I've already got some videos that focus on turkeys, if you're interested in those, but uh, right now I just don't really have an interest in doing much turkey hunting. But I've got at least 10 videos that are based on turkeys, so should be plenty of turkey content to check out if you haven't uh, seen them already. Nice. Love to see it. So. Eventually, what I'm going to do when I get far enough into the grind is I'm going to go ahead and shoot a couple of the twos that are in main zones because the more we can be killing per run, obviously, the better things are going to be. And if I only have one per zone, it's going to slow things down a lot. So if I got a few zones where I can shoot two moose from them, it's going to be huge. Like, that's going to be absolutely huge. Like, I would rather grind five zones that I can kill two out of than grind ten zones that I kill one out of. You know? Just a lot more time efficient when there's a bunch in one area. Eventually, we're going to try and get to that point. 
You think you'd ever try Rev Whitetail? Probably not, just because I already have a phenomenal grind set up on Layton for the uh, Whitetail. Nothing there. Okay. Base, thank you for the super chat once again, dude. Much appreciated. Holy, holy, holy. Where's this zone? There they are. So there's a, I believe it's a five or maybe it's a diamond potential four. I think there's a diamond potential four in there. Yeah, him. We need to try and get that guy. Come on, man. Stop a little bit more. Ah, you were so close to being out in the open. Oh my gosh. What a stubborn moose. How dare he be a moose like that? Not vitals. Didn't expect it to be. Oh, well. He's not going to die. Let's move on to the next zone. Bubba Bear, thank you for the super chat as well, man. Much appreciated. Oh, really, Preston? That's hilarious, man. That is hilarious. Uh, yeah, I've done tons of videos of bears as well, Jordan. I mean, all you got to do is just go to uh, go to the YouTube search and just type in Scarecrow the Hunter and then whatever animal you want. And there's a very high likelihood I've got multiple videos covering that species. The next Call of the Wild video will likely be a first to a diamond challenge video featuring CJO the Hunter. And Mr. Brobra. So stay tuned for that because that's going to be a fun one. That's going to be a fun one. I've done everything, Caden. Every species you could think of in the game, I've hunted them. So uh, I, I very likely have videos on everything. What's my least favorite species to hunt? Let me think. There's a lot that would classify as, like, not exactly something that I like hunting. I'm trying to think of what would be least favorite, though. Maybe. Maybe lynx. I mean, I'm not a fan of lynx hunting. Hey, little feller. You know, part of me wants to just leave this guy and just be like, ah, oh, he's small enough. But you know, the other part of me thinks I should probably boop him and try to stack a five in here or get him to be a two. Because I don't necessarily like this zone, but that guy's not really small enough to leave. Definitely not small enough to leave. Haven't hunted the Triceratops? I mean, I haven't prehistoric hunts, so there's that, I guess. <laughs> When is 60 minute challenge? No clue, man. I got so many different series that I've done that people want me to make more of. It's just a matter of like what I can get to. We got first to a diamond challenge and then we've got challenges with rooster video and stuff like that coming up. Um, that's all I've got recorded at the moment for Call of the Wild. I just got to edit them. But you know, anything's possible. We could do 60 minute challenge at some point. As you guys probably know by now, I don't really do anything if I'm not really like feeling like doing it that day. I try to keep it to just stuff I'm really enjoying at the moment. So if if I'm getting ready to record and the first thing that comes to mind is 60 minute trophy challenge, that's what I record. If the first thing that comes to mind is um, multiplayer hopping, then that's what I'll record. If the first thing that I, I want to do is like 
no DLC playthrough, then that's what I'll do, you know? I try to make sure I'm doing what I'm really into it in the moment. That way it's the best content it can possibly be. Okay. What? Wh where, where are you? Come on. Come on. Pop out. Dude. These moose have disappeared. <laughs> Unacceptable. He's here, but they're not. Well, over here we go. Yeah, the beginner series is done. We already finished uh, that one. Ooh, two big boy fours. Nice. Love to see it. Should be a five over here. I suppose he's hiding at the moment, but there is a five there. This zone right here is really good. Nice. Two jumbo fours down. Love to see it, man. Love to see it. Nice, Joan. It's a fun game, man. Yes, Mr. Call of the Wild, I do. He's one of the moderators of the channel. You've definitely seen him in chat many times. Pretty sure he even has it in his name that he's my brother. So, you've definitely seen him. Ow, ow, man. We're doing good. We're doing so good. I'm sorry, Mr. Moose. Probably painful, but it had to happen. You were in the way. Yeah, that's a couple of good moves there. Definitely love to see it. Did we miss any tents here? Is there any zones that I miss? Uh, we could check that one, but if I remember right, there wasn't anything there last time I went there. That doesn't have any herds. Um, we could go here. Yeah, that's the one I forgot. That one right there. Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. Ooh, uh, that's actually good. We got a new two there. Or it's a three, but it's got the score range of a two. That's really, really good. Perfect. No, spirit brown bears are not rare, unfortunately. Would be cool if they were, but... Yeah, they're just a, an uncommon, if I'm not mistaken. Could even be a common, I can't remember. I think they're uncommon, though. I think they are. Yeah, I could do a random wheel for great ones. That'd be fun. Like letting the random wheel choose which great one species I hunt that video. Could be interesting. For sure. Oh! Nothing to see here. Around we go. <laughs> Around we go. It's been good, Thunder. Hope you're doing good, man. 
Hope you're doing great. What's my favorite animal IRL? Let's see. Probably... I don't know. Cats are great. I love cats. Cats gotta be my favorite animal IRL. But you know, chickens are pretty cool. I, I do like chickens as well. Chickens are funny little creatures. And then if we're talking like favorite animal to hunt, red deer. I'd love to hunt a red deer IRL. No, I'm just not really a dog person, uh, Ziggy. I don't mind dogs. It's just not my first pick over a cat. But that's probably just because I don't like the way dogs smell. Uh, there's something about the way their fur smells that just makes me nauseous. Which is unfortunate, because otherwise I'd love them. It's, it's literally just the smell that gets me. Like, they just have a, a smell that I can't really quite put my finger on, like, why I don't like it. Well, cats are only bullies if you're mean to them, Piggy Wowness. It's all about how you raise them. Both of our cats are like the sweetest little angels in the world. It's all about how you treat them while they're growing up. There's some, obviously, that are just bad from the start, but most of the time it's how you raise them, how much attention you give them when they're little, and also, like, how gentle you are with them. The more rough you are with them, the more rough they'll be with you. That goes for any animal, though, really. I think the thing is, like, a lot of people look at a cat and a dog. And they just don't think to themselves that cats need, like, some kind of training as well. Like, they look at a dog and they're like, okay, I gotta train this dog. I gotta make sure that it's uh, behaving. Gotta make sure it, you know, doesn't pick up bad habits. But they look at cats and they're like, okay. Just go do your thing and forget that, like, cats kind of need the same thing, but in different ways, right? I feel like that's the reason that so many people get cats that are just rude to them. Because they don't give them enough tension or, like, treat them the way they need to be treated growing up. I have never had a cat turn on me when it's been treated well growing up. Every single cat that I have had, uh, that I had from a kitten, always grew up to be amazing. What types of cats do you have? Uh, right now we just have a couple of, we have a couple, well we have one stray that we saved, and so I'm not really sure what type of cat she is, but she's like the biggest sweetheart in the world. And then our other cat is... Again, one where we really don't know what it is. We got it from one of our neighbors. But he's a little black and white cat. And then uh, growing up, I've had like Siamese. I've had like orange tabbies. Stuff like that. And every time, as long as you treat them well and give them care growing up, they usually turn out to be good cats. Yes, we do have a dog, uh, Landon. It's a uh, German Shepherd, Australian Shepherd cross. Orange tabbies are actually pretty amazing if you uh, if you get the right ones, Ben. You know, like I, I can give you guys a prime example. My uh, brother-in-law's cat, right? We take care of her now, but um, she didn't really get any attention growing up because he was always like gaming and stuff, and like you know he'd feed her give her water, clean out her litter box. That was about it, though. He didn't really play with her too much. And because of that, she doesn't like to be held. She doesn't like to be touched. She just wants to go about her own business. Um, but all the cats that I've had that I actually gave them attention and played with them growing up, like, they're, 
they like need people now. Like they need attention 24 seven because that's what they're used to. So I think it is a lot on how you uh, raise your cat that determines greatly how they're going to treat you. Almost everybody that I know that has a cat that like bites them and scratches them all the time. It's because they didn't give it attention growing up. They didn't play with it every day and spend time with it as much as it needed. It's the same as a dog. You got to spend time with them. But I feel like a lot of people just don't understand that. They look at a cat as like, I feed it, I water it, I clean its litter box, and then it'll do whatever it wants. And it's like, well, no wonder it bites you and scratches you all the time then. <laughs> you're not, you're not teaching it that you're okay. You're not teaching it that you're there to care for it and play with it. It just thinks you're there to magically fill its food and water. Nice, Braden. Yeah, German Shepherds are great dogs. They are very good. Hey, B. Jones, how's it going? We wasted so much time chasing this down. Feels bad, man, but it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. Nothing there. <laughs> do it, B. Jones. Just just do it, you know? Just retire. <laughs> Why not? Screw it. Screw it. You gotta do it. Uh, potentially a uh, Swedish hunting reserve could be cool. Uh, as with any hunting reserve, it just depends on how they do it. That's my take on any new reserve is like... How do they implement it, right? If they implement it in a good way, then I'll probably like it. If it's got good animals, unique animals, a beautiful layout of the map, then I'll probably end up liking it. Dude, I am terrible at the heart shots at this zone in particular. For the, some reason, this zone, I just never hit heart. Yeah, sounds about right, Ty. Anytime you get an animal that's rescued, they typically have some, like... What's the... What's the word? Hesitance. They have some hesitance towards, like, trusting. Uh, that's kind of how my cat Evie was, because... Um, essentially what happened is, like... One of our neighbors had, like, a stray show up and have kittens under their house. And... So we asked them if we could if we could have one of the kittens and they were like, yeah, if you can if you can catch it, then you can have it. So that's how we got our cat Evie and it took her like a week or two to warm up. And now she's like obsessed with me. She just follows me all over the house and like stays next to me all the time. I found that though it may be sometimes difficult to get a stray to trust you. A lot of times they become like the most trustworthy animals after they've like, after you've gained their trust. Because they're like, oh, this person saved me and is like taking care of me now. I see how it is. Boop. He did. Hey, Caitlin, how's it going? Hope you're doing good. Have I got a great one while setting up HM? Yes, I have. My uh, first moose popped up before I got my HM finished. Same with my first uh, fallow deer. It popped up before I got finished with HM. And I believe my first whitetail showed up before I was fully managed. Well, not first whitetail, but first, um, first whitetail of the recent, like, whitetail grinds, like, I think it was actually my fourth whitetail. First Leighton Lakes whitetail that wasn't an initial spawn, we'll put it that way. But I have had a few show up while I was setting up. But I guess it also depends on what you consider setting up. 
for me, I consider it to be setting up if I'm still, like, uh, shooting down a lot of the herds to low levels. Let's go see over here. I don't think I need this tent here anymore. Because I prefer Call of the Wild, I still play Way of the Hunter, but I'm going to be honest, Anders. Way of the Hunters, in my eyes, is not a good streaming game. It's a good video uh, making game, but it's not good for streaming because there's a lot of walking around and doing nothing. It's same with Classic. I don't stream Classic that often because it just doesn't, it doesn't keep me entertained when I'm streaming. When it's in a video, I can just cut out all the boring stuff, but in a stream, like, I just feel like Way of the Hunter and Classic aren't really as good streamed live as they are in videos. So I don't really do, I don't really do streams for them. And if I do, it'll be like a secondary stream for the day. It won't be the main stream. All right, let's go ahead and pop down to that one. How do you find zones in Way of the Hunter? Uh, just walk around and pick them up as you go. Use the hunter sense to, like, look at the surrounding areas to see if there's any zones near you. The hunter sense is a pretty big thing in way of the hunter to make sure that you're finding everything. We may have to main menu. We're getting to a point where some of them are not showing up. Ah, uh, you're not a five. Ah, uh, it's close, but it's not a five. Come on, buddy. He ducked! That should be illegal, man. It should be illegal for a moose to put its head down when you're shooting. It should be illegal, man. Nah, we haven't got a great one today. We're very early in this grind still. Like 169 kills in total. Doing our best, though. Hopefully we can get one today or soon at least. Oh, that'd be cool, Leith. Like I said, I'm down for any map as long as they do it properly. At this point, I just want maps with new species that look different from existing maps. You're probably like, what, 250s? 243. Nice little moose, though. Definitely not too shabby, man. Not too shabby at all. Howdy, Ender. How's it going, man? Hope you're doing good. Lots of big fours popping up. I wonder if, like, we've got our moose herd management to a decent point already. I estimate we've got about half of the map managed. Maybe up to 60%. Somewhere between, like, 50 and 60%. We definitely have it decently managed, but we still need to go farther if we really want to get, like, ultimate results. So we'll see how this goes, but... We're at a decent point. Uh, Arno, thank you for the super chat, dude. Much appreciated. When does the map drop for Way of the Hunter? I believe tomorrow. I'm pretty sure it drops the 11th. I mean, it's all opinion-based, Rocky. It's all opinion-based. I'll be honest with you. I feel like Way of the Hunter is the best game if you want a realistic experience that includes all the aging mechanics and genetics and stuff like that. Like... That game has an incredibly in-depth genetics and aging system where the animals actually grow. The ones you kill affect your future generations of animals. Like, they've got a very advanced system. The one thing they're missing is, obviously, lots of maps, non-typicals, like, some long-term trophies. Like, they need more rares, but it looks like they 
launched this map with rares. Splinter got an albino cape buffalo, so that makes me wonder, like, did they launch this map with rares for every animal? That'd be really good if they did, like, that'd be huge. Because one of the biggest problems the game had was there wasn't enough trophies to go for. Where's the third one? Oh my gosh, that's right. I wounded it and I bet it died. So I'll have to main menu before it'll pop back up. Oh well. Go check here. Yeah, that'd be cool, uh, Jordan. Come here, little moosies. R5 is somewhere over here. I think that's him in, the, in there. Yeah, there's R5. I see one male in there. I see the uh, the antlers sticking through the trees. Little baby level four. Okay. Is there another or is it just him? There should be two males, two females, unless another male popped up somewhere else. I think it's just him, honestly. I might be wrong, though. Yeah, I think it was just him. Where are the black tail on Whiteheart? Uh, the North Island. The North Island. Like, right in the middle of the North Island is, like, some, some of my favorite areas to go to. Really, really good. Yeah, I don't see any solos over here. Definitely interesting. Usually we get a couple solos popping up here, but I haven't had one in a bit. Which, in my eyes, that just means there's solos in other places. Let's see how many were here. Oh, there was four. I, I guess I didn't see the last one. Where was the last one, man? Where was he? Those are all whitetail tracks. Oh, 470 to 545. That's a small one. But, I mean, it's still one. Uh, it seems like it does, Wolf. It seems like moose are one of the species where HM affects them a decent bit. I'd say moose and fallow get affected the most. Red deer and black bear get affected the least. Oof. Yeah, we're getting a lot of giant forests. I think our HM might be almost good enough, honestly. Kind of crazy. Like seeing this many fours popping up. That's a good sign. It's a really good sign. Now, if we see if we start seeing a bunch of fives pop up, then that's a really good sign right there. That would be huge, man. That'd be huge. Oh, yeah, I can imagine, Caitlin. Those coast zones are so rough. They are definitely the worst. 248. Not bad, man. Not bad. Looking good.
Yeah, I'm not gonna. I, I can't necessarily predict what your name is, Jordan. Like, I just read whatever name it shows, and your YouTube name is Jordan, so that's what I say. Uh, there's no way I could possibly remember everybody's real name. I would recommend that if you want me to call you by a specific name, you should make it your screen name on YouTube so I can actually see it. And know, uh, you know, what I need to call you. Hey, NBA, how's it going? I say go for a squirrel. Might as well, man. Might as well. Oh, I, I, I get what you're saying, Carrie. Like uh, a play on the term, like a cool cat. I get it. I get it. Let's go. He do be live. Yes, I do be live in and stuff, and I do be moost and shoostin'. I do be moost and shoostins, I tell you what. I uh, know, sketchy. No diamonds are super rares. I've been stacking most of the fives I see. I killed one five, but it ended up trolling. And have not shot a five since. I've been stacking them. I know, right? Hit F. That's what I'm saying. Like, geez, what am I doing? I'm, I'm slacking. Falling behind. This is a zone I would love to get rid of. I am tired of this zone. It's so bad. Such an awkward spot to shoot them from. Okay, perfect. Got it back on shore. What gun am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum. Hey, Sky, how's it going? You estimate around 300 more kills for a great one, Moose? That would be in line with some of the uh, previous Moose grinds I've had. And some of Mel's grinds as well that she's had recently. So maybe. That would bring us at around like 473. I could see that happening. One ninety. Tempted to do a run through here, but at the same time, nah. Favorite animal in game? I would say my favorite animal is probably probably whitetail. Still, I think they're my favorite animal. So like, uh, oh, yes, yes, we got a two. Ah, finally, Boop. take that tent away. Let's go. I hated that zone, so this is nice. <laughs> that is so nice to finally remove that tent. We got two tents to place down. I need to find some more herds. All right, our five isn't over there. Oh yeah, that is sick that we got that zone shot down. Uh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Love to see it. How far are they? 291, okay. miss but not too bad uh yeah tyler they brought the compound bows to the game they didn't bring any new rifles but compound bows are now in way of the hunter and they're actually really good um i was smoking wildebeest from like 80 meters away no problem 
And uh, they, they did pretty good with him. My only complaint about the Bozen Way of the Hunter is it takes so long to like switch to your bow. Like it takes way too long to pull the bow out, uh, put an arrow in there. And then get pulled back. So, like, if you're about to spook an animal, there's no way you're getting the bow out in time. That's my only complaint with the bows and way of the hunter. But overall, they're really good. I think they're gonna make a big difference in uh, in how we play in way of the hunter. Hey, Unga, how's it going, dude? You didn't miss too much. How many stacked? Oh, uh, we got two fives stacked currently. Oh. Oh, I thought that was a third. Yeah, we're getting so many big fours now. I wonder if we've uh, got far enough to where we can start... Where we can shoot the fives and just start rotating. Because we're getting big fours in every single zone. I think we're going to keep going. Until I start seeing a bunch of fives popping up, we're probably just going to keep stacking. And try to shoot down some more zones and try to stack more fives up in the main zones. Are you freaking kidding me, bro? What the? Wait. Was that him that just went brrrr? It must have been. That was wild. Um, Vitaly, I would recommend checking out the fallow deer herd management guide that I've got on the channel. It's going to give you the most info packed into one place that will help you uh, with your grind. Would recommend checking it out. How many kills so far? 176. Gosh, I can't even. What the? What the? Okay, I'm tired of driving to this zone, so we're going to plop one of the extra tents over there. This is ridiculous. What is the best map for moose and red deer grind? I would say probably... For moose, it's either Leighton or Medved. Honestly, Leighton, Medved, Rev are all good. I feel like Leighton's the easiest to herd manage. Rev and Medved are better if you're not herd managing. For red deer, Tiabaroa just blows the other maps completely out of the water. It's not even a competition. It's just so good. It is so freaking good. Like, holy. But great one's the easiest to HM. Fallow. For sure, Fallow. Fallow are so easy. You can HM them so freaking quick. Like, I'm talking 500 kills and you've got your Fallow managed. And then obviously it takes a little bit longer if you want to get them manage to like an extreme level but you can see some major results in like 500 kills for fallow been saying for so long they should add boats and fishing to this game well they'll definitely not add fishing because they made call of the wild the angler for that like instead of putting it in the hunter call of the wild they added it to the angler which is made by the same developers just a separate game so they probably will not ever add fishing to the hunter call of the wild boats are a possibility though I could see boats maybe being a thing someday but how's it going aspect hope you're doing good man Was my rarest kill ever. Uh, in terms of rarity, probably my Diamond Melanistic Moose. That's got to be the rarest thing I've ever killed. Uh, we should probably main menu. Because I'm not really seeing any, any moose popping up reliably at certain zones now. So for HM, for Fallow, don't shoot level 1s and 2s and leave solo zones. No, you don't want to leave the solo zones. Um... Yes, leave ones and twos, and then also leave small threes that have the same score as a two. And in terms of the solos, you want to manage those down to twos as quick as you can. 
focus on the solos before anything else because they're going to be the toughest to manage further down the line. That would be my recommendation. Get those solos managed down first because they will be the most annoying in the long run. They become very annoying. Unfortunately. Yeah, I did too, Caitlin. I made the same mistake, which is why on this moose grind, I'm focusing on solos. I'm trying to stack up my main, like, herds and uh, shoot down as many solos as I can. I've got so many solos shot down already, but there's probably between, like, 5 and 15 that I haven't shot down that I see bouncing around from time to time. So I definitely need to manage down more. Because the solos are the worst. They are terrible. Got a group of four there. Eventually, I'll probably shoot one of the twos in this zone and make it into a main zone because that's actually a pretty good one. Definitely got a good composition of males to females there. Yes, dear hunter, I was streaming with Rooster a few days ago. Indeed, we were streaming with Mr. Rooster. This might be the other zone that I put this other tent at. Because uh, driving down this hill is rough. It takes a while and I'm always scared I'm going to crash. Like, this is just sketchy, man. This is just sketchy. It's like, I never know if I'm going to come out alive. So far, I haven't died, but, you know, knock on wood. It's just such a huge waste of time having to, like, feather down this hill. Oh, we made it. We made it. Was that albino? No, it wasn't albino. Definitely not albino. Do I have another slot for a tent? More structures not allowed. Okay. What can I remove? I need this to check the solos here. Yeah, what can I do? I don't know. If I could manage down that zone, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. So we went here, here, here. Then we went up here. So let's head to this zone next. Do you have to stack level five banting? I would recommend it because otherwise it's hard to shoot down the last few uh, banting. I had trouble shooting down the last few. <gasps> yes. Yes. We got one. We can leave. Okay. That's beautiful. We got one that we can leave, which means now we can try and stack this guy into a... Uh... Or wait, was that already there? That might have already been there. Well, either way, we just need to get this guy to become a five. If we can turn this guy to a five, that'll be perfect. Do I hunt in real life? Yeah, I have, but not recently. I used to hunt when I was a kid. I think the last time I hunted was when I was 18. There we go. Ten years later, it floated over. Did I get the super or bantang? No, I didn't. We'll return to the grind soon. 
Yes, Polly. Uh, some states require you to take a hunter safety course, though. And in most cases, you have to have a parent with you at all times if you're hunting. As a uh, youth. So, yes, but there is usually extra regulations for it. And requirements. I can't remember, guys. For those of you that were here at the beginning of the stream, how many kills did I say that I had when I had first started? I don't remember. I don't remember how many kills I said I had. I think it was like around 153 or 143 or something like that. Or 156, maybe. I don't even know. Nice, Deer Slayer. Yeah, I took mine when I was uh, younger. It was definitely not 169, no. I was way below that when we started the day here. I know it was either in the 140s or 150s. Gosh, this zone sucks. That's the four we were leaving, which means that guy's new. This zone is so bad. I really want to shoot this zone down, man. But the thing is, like, I can't shoot both of them until I get one of them to turn into a two or a three or a small three. Yes, I played with Lady many times, Cassie. I have indeed. Indubitably, I tell you what. Freaking spot is so bad. <laughs> this zone sucks. I cannot wait to get rid of it. Hate this zone with a burning passion. How's it going, uh, Pumpkin, the pet white-tailed deer? She's still alive and kicking. She's still alive and kicking, man. I wish these, uh, moose weren't alive and kicking. Come on. This is freaking ridiculous. Ugh. Why are you a thing? You suck, Moose. What can I do here? There's no good way to hunt this zone. There really isn't. It's just a matter of luck on like where they're going to stand. This is so bad. <laughs> Such a terrible spot. It was 153. Okay, thank you, Brayden. This zone is so garbage. I cannot wait to get rid of this zone. I need to shoot it down like immediately. It's such a time waster. Every time I go to the zone, I take way too much time trying to actually get a shot on it. But it's like I gotta manage it down. And because it's a group of three, I have to manage them down one kill at a time. I can't shoot both of the males. Or else it will delete the zone. Or turn it to a solo cow zone. I don't believe so, no, Merle. I don't believe so. At least you couldn't back when I was a kid. Do you shoot small threes? Only if they are bigger than what the two is. Uh, there's a lot of threes that look just like a two. You can leave those. Uh, it's not going to hurt your HM. In fact, it'll help it. Hey, Kenneth, how's it going, dude? Got two diamond blue wildebeest today. Nice, John. Nice. Love to see you, man. 
What is the best reserve to buy? Whichever reserve you like the most. But, um... In terms of, like, just... My opinions on, like, each reserve, I'd say the best one is Emerald Coast. I definitely recommend Emerald Coast over the others. Revontuli is a second place for me, though. Both are phenomenal. Phenomenal maps. Hmm... We'll set up there. That's probably going to be a better angle, honestly. I'm sorry to hear that, Carlos. That sucks, man. It happens to the best of us, though. Trolls are, unfortunately, just a part of the game. But I feel like it kind of makes the uh, diamonds a little more special. Because, you know, you get a troll, and it just makes you want to get redemption. And then when you get that diamond, it feels so much better. Got to watch my dog for a while. Gonna watch the stream on my TV so I won't be able to chat. No worries, Ender. Do what you gotta do, man. Do what you gotta do, my dude. Yeah, trolls are rough, Viking. They're definitely rough, but just part of the game. What do you think the next great one's going to be? See, I think it's probably going to be a wild boar or a fox because it's been a while since we've had a non-antlered great one. Do I want it to be those? Not really. I'd like to see a mule deer or an elk or potentially a Cape buffalo or a black-tailed deer, or a lion, but I got a feeling it's going to be a boar or a fox because the only predator great one in the game is bears. Or I guess the only antlerless great one is the bear. Ah, oh, that should be much better. Holy. That should be a lot better right there. Let's hope it actually is. Yeah, it could be interesting, uh, Fishy. It could be interesting. My thought process, though, is that they only have two on Hirschfelden and they've got three on Leighton. They need one more on Hirschfelden to, like, even it out to where there's three on each. Ooh, he's looking nice. Oh, lots of big boy forest popping up, man. So many of them. you love to see it, honestly. We're getting so many of them. Okay, so we are, we're killing about 30 moose per hour. This is about where we were on Medved when we were early, early into our uh, HM grind. So this is, this tracks, this definitely tracks. We're at about the same state we were with the early, um, early Medved HM grinds. Oh no, Graham. Rough, man. Any great ones? Nothing today, unfortunately, but we're very early in the grind. 182 kills. Uh, yeah, Viking, I do fish. I fish a lot, actually. A lot more than I hunt. Fishing it has always been something I have done quite a bit more than hunting. Though I've done them both, but yeah, fishing. Fishing will always be my favorite outdoor activity. It's just so relaxing and so much fun. 
Gives you a big adrenaline rush when you catch a giant fish. It's great. I love it. I love it, man. I love it. Whoa. Uh-oh, we got a big boy solo here. Oh, we got a jumbo solo there. Okay, 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 okay. We should probably shoot that solo. That might be helpful. You lost a 20 pound pike, unfortunate man. That's a pretty decent pike. Nice, Kenneth, nice. Um, it's it's possible, Jonah. I'd watch it. I've had some of them make it and some of them fall just short, so it could go either way. When does Call of the Wild the Angler come to Xbox? Um, according to Jaxie Beard on the stream the other day, it seems that it's very close. Um, from what I heard, they're just waiting on certification to finish. But apparently we're going to get the update on PC a little bit before the console release. So the way Jaxie explained it is console release could be any day now. Or not console release. Um... The PC release for the patch could be any day at this point. But the console release will likely be shortly after. So the way I took that is I'd say we probably are going to get the console release within a couple weeks from now. And probably going to get the actual update on PC within a week or so. And it would make sense, you know, push out the update on PC first. That way when you push it out on um, Xbox, you don't have to worry about like any weird stuff going on with I guess you know it makes sense to have it already updated when the console release comes out I kind of lost my track of thought there but that's what I was trying to say it makes sense to have it updated already that way when you get on the console release boom there's the update it's gonna be fun I'm so excited and he was saying that the uh, brand new map for the angler is gonna be shortly after the console release so Angler's got some crazy stuff coming. The game's going to be like a whole different game in a good way. It's going to be looking incredible. I'm so excited. Oh, what the? Oh, that's a new th that's a new solo. That's a new solo right there. What is up with this, man? Suddenly we're seeing a bunch of our solos popping up right here. I guess we've just been missing them the last few runs because I didn't see them. These are those threes where it's like you're almost small enough to leave, but not quite. Not quite, man. Just a little bit too big to leave. Yeah, it's understandable, Jonah. They are making some massive improvements with this update, though, so I would recommend at least, like, uh, watching some videos on it and seeing if you like the changes. They, they're they completely overhauling the water. It's going to interact with the boat more realistically. It's going to look better. The waves are going to be more realistic. And uh, you're not going to be able to see the fish in the water as easily. And then they're also adding eight new fish species and revamping the leveling system to make it more rewarding. So I think that this is going to be the update for the angler that really starts to bring some people in that didn't like the game before. Making a lot of uh, sweeping improvements to the game, which is really exciting as somebody who has always liked the game, but did feel like there was some times where it was lacking. Come on. What are you? There's one more there. I hope this is a two because I hate this zone so much. Please be a two. Tell me you're a two. You're not a two. Ugh. Tell me I still got to grind this zone. Ew. Let me saw this guy over here. Where did he come from? Honestly, I'm tempted to just leave him. 
it's okay to leave a few that aren't shot down. Especially if it means I've got one less to chase around. To be honest, at this point, I think I've got enough of the map managed down that I could probably just try to get all of the solo fours shot down to like mid-size threes and I'd probably be fine. That's essentially what I did with Fallow Deer was I just left some of the uh, coastal like solos shot down to like mid-size threes instead of small threes. And it worked out fine on there. We could try that. Could potentially work out. <laughs> we got a level one. Oh my gosh, we got a one there. This isn't a zone I wanted to shoot down though. Uh it's a one though. I I feel like we have to leave it. Level ones are like amazing. To be fair, I didn't like how brushy this zone was, so I guess it's okay. But it's just the fact that it had two males. I really liked that I could shoot two males out of it. Oh well. We got a one there. That's good. My day's going good, uh, that guy. It's going good. I hope yours is as well. I already said what the new update was, Carlos. I, I just explained all of it. If you want to see it again, just uh, go back in the stream about five minutes. Uh, I don't want to repeat everything again. Do you think they'll bring cross-platform to Call of the Wild someday? Probably not, no. Call of the Wild, unfortunately, was not designed with that in mind, so... It'd be a very expensive and difficult task and probably cause a lot of bugs and problems. However, the angler is getting cross-platform, so that's nice. Unfortunate that the hunter Call of the Wild is never going to get it, though. It would just be too much of a project. Probably take years to do and cost more money than they'd make back. It's a whole thing. Okay, Zeppington and Merle, you guys need to chill out or I'm going to start throwing timeouts left and right. So chill, please. Don't worry about it. And also, if anybody is doing some... If anybody is, like, breaking a rule in chat, don't try to backseat mod. Leave it to the moderators or leave it to me. No need to, like, try and tell people what to do. Especially because you never know if that's actually something I'd want you to tell them. So just, uh, you know, chill out, get back to watching the stream and just enjoying yourselves. No, it's fine, Caitlin. It's fine. Don't antagonize either, Merle. Just drop it. That is an antagonistic statement to type right after I say that. Chill out. <laughs> That's just going to add fuel to the fire, which we don't need. Hey, Charlie, happy early birthday, dude. Happy early birthday, man. I hope you're doing good. What? That first was not a hard shot? Are you kidding me? I don't understand this zone right here, because, like, it's 291 meters away. Two hundred and ninety-one meters away, zero for three hundred, aiming right on the heart. It shouldn't miss. Like it should hit it. I'm gonna have to look at where that hit. 
It's possible I aimed a little bit high. It is very possible that could be what happened. Um, track for me, pupper. I don't know where it is. It's all dependent on distance and situation, Zeb. Fallow, I have to shoot more animals quicker. Wow. It just didn't make it. It just didn't make it to the heart. That's wild, dude. What are you talking about, Zeppington? That's not a rule. There's no rule against telling somebody, like, what your in-game name is or something. <laughs> Just because I told you to stop telling somebody what to do doesn't mean you can't answer a question that somebody's asking directly to you. You're fine. Nothing there? Feels bad. Oh, got you, Zeppington. Okay. I guess that is a little different. I thought he was asking, like, what your gamer tag was or something. Dude, why are they not showing up? This is crazy. Four resets? Are you here? No? Five resets? Whew. Getting up there. What? That's absurd. That is absurd. I mean, if I didn't like it, would I have put 6,000 hours into it, uh, Lost Gaming? I think that says it all right there. <laughs> Another time reset. <laughs> These moose are going to make me go insane. And now that you're finally here, you're up in the trees and slowly walking down. Come on, man. They are just wasting my time. I'm going to have to reset again. They stopped in the trees. And I can't even see half the herd. Nah, nah. We moving on. We moving on. That herd is awful. Oh, yeah, it's a great combo, Zeb, for sure. Thank you. You didn't make me reset. Mr. Moosey. One hundred and ninety kills on the grind. Two, two, five. Nice. Big boy. Yeah, a lot of these are coming back really nice. Like, we're getting a lot of big moose to pop up. Hey, O-Dog, how's it going? I mean, I'd take Call of the Wild over Way of the Hunter every single day, man. Way of the Hunter's cool, but it's not a game I can play as often as I can play Call of the Wild because Way of the Hunter's a lot slower paced, and that just doesn't fit me as well as a uh, fast-paced gameplay does. I get bored if I play uh, Way of the Hunter for too long because of its slower-paced nature. It's more focused on realism than Call of the Wild is. I can play Call of the Wild all day and pretty much never get tired of it. Because there's just so much to do, and like I can play super fast-paced if I want. I can chill out if I want. 
Way of the Hunter is great if I want like a realistic experience. If I'm if I'm feeling the like realistic pace pacing of the game, then then I'll play that instead. Definitely gotta play it more after this uh, new update, but Call of the Wild's probably always gonna be my favorite. It just does hunting in a way that no other game does. Bro! They're floating again. Thanks for going live almost every day. I try my best. I enjoy the streaming quite a bit. Let's try this new uh, location here. Maybe Mr. Call of the Wild. I'm not sure. I don't even know what Brober's doing today. I haven't really chatted with him uh, today at all. Oh. Is that from this herd? It might be... Okay, it'll die. About time we killed something out of this zone. This zone has been so stubborn recently. Hey, Purple Grape just smoking some moose, man. Trying to get this map managed down. Honestly, so far it's been pretty good. Has not been too difficult of a grind as of now. Uh, the solos are probably the worst part, but that's pretty much every moose grind. I'm so glad we finally got this guy down. It was like three runs in a row we tried to kill him and couldn't. <laughs> or two runs in a row that we couldn't kill and then we got him on the third. That's unfortunately probably not going to happen unless you're lucky, Epic Ronnie. I have only managed to get a couple of lakes to be consistent on that grind. For the most part, your bears will always move all over the map. At least 99% of the bears will. Is this shot down? No, it's not. That's a male. What? Uh, uh, uh. How? What? What was that? How far is that? That was about 209. I was zeroed for 150. Did I hit the tree? I had to have hit the tree there. That's the only explanation is that I had to have hit the tree. Oh wow, Zeppington, that's wild. Love to see it, those little pet female rares. Nah, Merle, I didn't get it. I'm not too pressed about trying to find it. It's just a level 3 mallard. I saw so many of those back when they were easier to hunt. Back in like the beginning days of Call of the Wild. That uh, I'm not too worried about a level 3 duck. And when I'd have to take time out of my uh, moose grind to go look for it, I'm just I'm just not too worried about it. I'm just not too worried. It's on my map, so it's not like it's going to go anywhere. He'll be here till I kill him. But I remember back when uh, 
I first started doing YouTube. That was back when diamond mallard ducks were everywhere. Like it was so easy to find them. Oh, that's a diamond. That's a dime, I think. Turn to me. Um, it's either a diamond or very close. I think we can stack it. I think we can stack him. Yep, I'm pretty sure we can just leave that guy and stack him up. Why not weigh the hunter? Uh, it just gets boring faster than Call of the Wild. Not enough stuff happening, not enough trophies to go for, not enough maps to hunt. All that will obviously change with time as the game is still very young, but... That's why. Call of the Wild's just got more stuff to do. Keeps me entertained more with its fast-paced gameplay. Play of the Hunter's still a phenomenal game, just... It'll get better with time. I think uh, Zephyr's a pretty good one, uh, Fishy. I like that name. They should add a great one, Crocodile. That would be cool. That would definitely be cool. Another male has respawned here. We got another solo. What's my favorite great one out of all species? Definitely the moose. I think they look the nicest. Yeah, Cactus was going to be my second choice, Caitlin. Cactus definitely is a decent name as well. Just something about Zephyr I like. Come on, please tell me this last one is no longer a three or a four. Please be a two, or at least like a small enough three that I can leave it. Ah, it's a four. There is a new three here, though. There is two uh, small males here now. So we're moving in the right direction. I'm assuming one of those is a solo, but I don't know if it's the one I shot. Or if it's the one in the group. Either way, though, there is a new low level there. So that is a very, very good sign. Very, very good indeed. There's a group of four there. Okay, this is his zone. He's from the group of four. Okay, so that um, that new three that's a small enough one to leave, that was a solo, I think. I think that was a solo that ended up here. Wish I could find his zone so I'd know for sure. I'm only finding the uh, ring zone tracks of the herd. Haha, <laughs> it is a new solo here. Okay. We got one of the solos shot down. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. That is awesome. There's our one. There's our five. I don't know where the other male is. Can't believe we got a one there, though. That's great. Mm. I could.
could leave him. I, I could leave him. In fact, I think I will. I think we'll leave him. Yeah. I want to dedicate this tent to a new spot anyway. Because we got this outpost here to check the other zone. Okay, we're making progress, man. We're making strides in this grind. Mr. Smool. <laughs> yup, sounds about right. Why not fallow? Because I want some moose. That's all there is to it. No worries, Thunder. No worries. Because I haven't seen any of them, Lincoln. I'm not looking at chat um, as consistently right now because I'm focusing on trying to be fast with these moose, but they're really tough to be fast with because they're so... They're so tough, man. If I miss the hard shot, it's all over. Boom. There we go. We got a hard shot. The satisfaction meter hits the ceiling after that. Boom. Boom shakalaka. Hey, Gaming E, how's it going, dude? How many kills am I in? Uh, 195. Oh, nice, J6. Hopefully it's gonna go well for you, man. Couple decent mooseys right there. Alright, let's see. Can I not mess this up this time? I'd love to get more zones like this. Uh, zones where I've got two males, two females, because then it's a lot easier to get a lot of kills per run. Having lots of zones with two males that you can shoot. Which is why eventually I'll probably shoot a couple of the twos in main zones. Just so I can get some extra ones to boop each run. Two forty eight is definitely not too shabby, man. How many moose great ones do I have? I've got five of them. Two quad paddle commons, a big rack common, a big rack two tone, and a spider rack fabled ashen. Any solos here? Nope. I uh, don't worry, Zeb. There's the one we need to boop. Glad to see they're back and not uh, being weird. Ah. I missed an easy shot there. Ay, ay, ay. Nice, Mr. Call of the Wild. I'm doing good, John. Doing good. Nice, Lincoln. Nice, dude. Um, all I can really say is just keep shooting, Zeb. If you're herd managing and you're already leaving like the small ones, it's just a matter of time before you'll get like the big ones to show up. If you're not doing herd management, maybe try leaving a few of your twos. That might help get some fives going. One sixty two. Doot, doot, doo. Nice, Armstrong. No worries, man. Any tips for the Red Deer Great One grind? 
Uh, it's been a long time since I've grinded Red Deer, but I'm pretty sure the guide on my channel is up to date because I don't think they've moved them since then. Uh, so I'd recommend checking out like my some of my most recent Red Deer videos. I think I've got one. I think I've got one that's called like. I got so and so number of diamonds with this grinding method or whatever. Pretty much if you type in like herd management red deer scarecrow, then it should bring it up on YouTube. What the? Where are they? In before great one. Nope, they're just late, I think. <laughs> Unfortunate. Feels bad, man. Oh well, is what it is. Oh, uh, yeah, they're pretty good, Mr. Call of the Wild. They're pretty good. They're not too bad at all. Big boy four. Yeah, the fours are just getting bigger and bigger every single run. I think we might be almost to a point where we can shoot down the few fives that we have and then just start grinding. Just smoking them all. I am very impressed with how consistent these zones have been, though. Both with Whitetail and Moose. Like, uh, my actual herds have been ridiculously consistent here on Layton, which is amazing. 251, not bad. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Now, one thing I'm definitely going to have to do is start popping some uh, tripods up at some of these zones because I'm starting to see, because we're starting to shoot some zones down. We're getting less kills per run. So we are getting a little bit more pressure than I'd like. Little bit too much pressure built up. Since they aren't even in their zone, let's just pop this tripod up now. Come on, buddy. They should be right there, right? They're not there, I guess. Is Leighton good for the moose grind, in your opinion? I really like it so far, man. I feel like if you're doing herd management, Leighton's going to be the easiest to manage down quickly. Um, If you're not doing herd management, though, then Medved's probably better. Ooh, that's a big boy five. That is a big boy five there. That's the rack that scores like what, 280s or 290s? Oh my gosh, finally we got that stacked. Which means we can shoot that guy. But I think that is potentially a diamond rack as well. I think we can leave these. I think we can skip this zone now. And just focus on the other zones in the area. This is huge. This is huge. That's a thick five right there. <laughs> That's a thick five. It's a rare rack, too. You don't see too many of them with that rack right there. Definitely one of my favorite racks as well. Probably just because of how rare it is to see it. I always find that I really like the ones that are uncommon. The ones that you just don't see too much, I really like. Nice, Connor. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Ah, uh, we might need to main menu. Because I think uh, last time we were here, I wounded one and he died, but I couldn't claim him because it was such a bad shot. I don't think he's going to pop up. We might need to main menu, unfortunately. Mm. 
Nice, gaming -y. Any tips on grinding moose? Uh, focus the solos as soon as possible if you're doing herd management. Like, try to, like, manage down those solos as quick as possible. Um, in terms of, like, other tips for moose, there's not too much I can say about moose, man. They move all the time. Try to make, like, herds your main grinding zones. Like, don't make solo zones your main ones because solos move all the time. Try to find herds that have, like, two males, two females. Those are, like, your prime herds to make as, like, permanent grinding zones. So, yeah. But, yeah, other than that, there's not too much else that I can really do to help with moose grinding. It's pretty inconsistent and random. Best bet is just trying to lock down those main herds. Focus on the herds as your main zones. Try to manage down the solos as quick as you can if you're doing HM. Two hundred kills, guys. Let's go. That was our two hundredth kill right there. Two hundred kills and no super rare. Unbelievable. I know, right? Crazy, huh? It's just crazy, man. Just crazy. We're definitely getting some big boy moose to pop up pretty quickly, though, which is nice. Love to see it. Love to see it. There's that one down. Another one bites the dust. Uh, this zone, I believe, has that diamond potential. So right now, we should have like four diamonds on the map. I think we got like four diamonds on the map. Yeah, that one right there. That is a potential diamond rack. Wait, what's diamond? Is diamond 277 or 278 or is it 274? I'm trying to remember, is it 274.90 something? I think it's 274. If I'm not mistaken. Could be wrong there though. I could be wrong. How's the hunting? It's been good. 274.99? Okay, good to know. Good to know. Ooh, big boy four again, man. We're getting some giant forest to pop up. Also, I think I can definitely move this tripod closer. I can probably put it like right there and be fine. That's a good four. Yeah, lots of giants are showing up now. I think we're in a good state. I think we are. 135. Yeah, 10 needs to stay back there, but I think we can move the uh I think we can move the tripod back a bit. Yeah, Elaine, we should be getting it tomorrow. And it's sounding like the angler update should be pretty soon as well. Lots of excitement. Lots of exciting stuff happening in the outdoor gaming community. I'm doing good, uh, Mr. Blackbean. Once again, coming back as a uh, shootable one. He moved. Oh, that is just oof. He'll die, though. He'll definitely die.
Next great one, thoughts? Mule deer, blacktail, elk, other elk, or cape buffalo. That's what I hope. Wow, Chip. Wow. That's how you enter. How's it going, Chip? Good to see ya. We, uh, we're getting this grind going really well, man. It's going super, super well so far. We've had at least, like, a, at least three level twos pop up and a level one during this stream. And we got a diamond potential four and a diamond level five to pop up that we're now stacking. That has been a successful stream as of now. Moose take! <laughs> oh, Chip's on a roll today. He's on a roll, man. On a freaking roll. Okay, where do we go now? Back here, I guess. We're getting things uh, narrowed down quite a bit, actually. Elk, other elk, yep, yep, yep. It was just faster than saying Roosevelt Elk and Rocky Mountain Elk. It's just quicker to say Elk and Other Elk. <laughs> the Elk and the Other Elk. And the, the Elky Elk too. The Elks that are Elking and being Elk. Alright, you guys ready for this little trick? There. Now it's a little bit closer whenever I shoot this. Oh, that's right, I have a tent there. Never mind, void that trick. Void that trick. Uh, man. I would recommend checking out my uh, whitetail guide, uh, Quinlan. I've got a uh, up-to-date whitetail guide on the channel. In the guides playlist and also the herd management guides playlist. That's going to be your best place for information. Big boy four. Is that diamond potential? Could be. Definitely could be. I think that's diamond potential, right? He's wide, man. Yeah, I think that's diamond potential. So I think we'll leave him. And when I say diamond potential, by the way, I'm not basing it off the score. I'm basing it off of the rack and the way it looks, not the score estimate. It's score estimate is diamond potential, but I'm looking at the rack trying to figure out, is that one of the racks that makes diamond? I think that one does. I think that one can make diamond. That's going to be another one that we'll leave. Pretty soon we'll be able to go through and try to shoot down some of the solos, I think. Or attempt to, at least. The solos are going to be kind of rough. Ooh, nice, Caitlin. Yeah, that would be fun. The rare cape buffaloes look really good. Are fallow good to grind? Yeah, I think they're one of the easiest and most fun things to grind in the game, personally. Big fan of them. Wow, turtle. <laughs> Holy! Crazy. This zone is always so weird. Like, it's got to be one of the weirdest and most inconsistent zones I have. Like, do I even have something to shoot here? It doesn't look like it this time. Huh. Guess we'll just uh, not worry about them then.
What do I think of a great one? Rocky Mountain Elk? That would be pretty sick, honestly. I think that would look pretty crazy. There we go. All right, we've killed 52 moose today. Not bad. It'll pick up a little bit more as we kind of like get these zones managed down more. Because eventually we'll, we'll be able to dedicate some of the tents to other areas. First DLC aside from ATV or tent. I would say either Modern Rifles Weapon Pack or the Hunter Power Pack. Both are very good early on DLCs to get. Now that we got a decent bit of uh, diamonds stacked, I think what we're going to do now is try to stack like decent sized fours, like larger fours in the rest of our main zones. And then we will go around the map and try to find all the solo fours and shoot them down. I don't think I'm going to shoot down the solo threes, but I think I will go ahead and shoot down all the solo fours. And I mean, if I see a three that's almost a four, we'll shoot that as well. What was my last great one? I believe my last great one was the great one bear. I don't think we've shot any great ones since then, if I'm not mistaken. That bear was just incredible. I'm so happy we got it, man. I don't need to go to this zone anymore. What am I doing? What am I doing? We don't need to go there anymore. Yeah, it is crazy. Ever since we got that bear, I've been kind of taking it easy with the grinds. I haven't been going quite as, like, aggressive with the uh, Great One grinding. And now we're back into moose, so... It's gonna be interesting. Hello, Moosey. This uh, group was acting weird last time as well. They're being weird. Yeah, the bear was 8,300 kills. It was crazy. It took so long to get it. Over a year of grinding off and on. Just to get him to show up. Just to get a bear with a pretty fur. <laughs> Crazy. And I eventually want to try and go for a second one. We've been kind of off and on going for number two. I still can't even believe we got number one. Just crazy. How many moose do I have? I've got five moose. Only two of them have a fur type though, like a special fur type. The other three were commons back before they made it so it's guaranteed fabled fur because uh, it used to be that it was common fur type and then you had a chance to get a fabled fur and all three of my first came out as common so that was kind of sad but then like uh, the first two that had fur types we got were pretty crazy we got a uh, fabled ashen with the spider and then we got the fabled two-tone with the giant non-typical rack so I'm happy with the two fur typed ones that I've got and I'm really hoping that on this grind we'll get some really cool combos as well because there's so many cool combinations with the moose. Like, some of them look so stunning. Like, so freaking stunning. Hmm. <laughs> 
The Admiral. I'll be honest, I don't care if the Black Bear drink in the daytime. I'm fine with them drinking at night. The only thing I care about is I want them to actually make it to their zones on time. Like, that's the thing that bugs me is that they don't get to their zone on time. As long as they make it to their zones on time, I don't care if they're a nighttime hunt. I'll gladly hunt them in the night if I can know for a fact that when I go to a lake, 30 minutes after the time reset, they'll actually be there. Like, sure, I'd like to have them in the daytime as well, but it's not the most important issue with bears. Biggest problem with bears is the fact that they just take forever to get to their zones. They just need to find a way to make it so bears aren't so delayed with getting to drink zones. Because, like, obviously, like, an hour's fine. There's a lot of species that are an hour late to their zones, and that that's perfectly normal. But bears are sometimes three hours late. Sometimes they never even make it to their zone. So it gets a little ridiculous with them. It's like, okay, at this point, it's not even fun to hunt them because they take 20 years to show up to their uh, zones. Thank you, Lost Gaming. I tried to get some cool designs for them. What about the mountain lions? They're annoying too. Um... Yeah, but I can deal with them at this point. Most of the time, they don't interfere as much as they used to. Hey, little feller. Can I get you to turn into a big old four, please? Or a two. If I can turn this to a two, that actually wouldn't be too bad because having only one moose at this entire lake is kind of a time waste. Like, I'm, I'm dedicating two tents to one moose. Just because I don't want to drive around the lake because it's kind of annoying. But I would like to get this uh, zone shot down if possible. It's kind of a rough zone to hunt. And then the great one happens. You never know. It definitely could. There's our big boy. Yeah, that's definitely diamond wreck. It's got to be. Uh, there's our diamond over here. This guy's pretty much guaranteed to be diamond. This rack is usually like 280s, I believe. I believe that's a 280s rack right there. I can tell because it's got those kind of like squared off brows. Those like really weird looking brows. Pretty sure that's a 280s. I could be wrong though, but I think it's a 280s rack. Nice, we got him. Uh, yeah, I've done an albino grind before for the lions. The thing is, like, I didn't actually get my albino lions during an albino lion grind. I got mine in multiplayer. Both my males were in multiplayer. And, uh, my two females... Well, I think one of the females was in multiplayer, one of them was in single player. I can't fully remember with the female ones, but... The males were both from multiplayer. And my gosh, it was scary when I spotted them. It's like, holy, this is insanely rare. I got to kill it quick so I don't get kicked. Did you say previously that you have around 6k hours? Yeah, I got around 6k. Let me, I'll, I'll give you the exact number real quickly. Uh, 6,015.8 hours played on my main account for Call of the Wild. Uh, then I've got easily a couple hundred hours in like, other Call of the Wild accounts for different series. Like, I've got an Epic Games account that I did the beginner series on. I've got a second Steam account that I'm currently doing a no DLC playthrough. So, it probably comes out to more like 6,200 or 6,300 in total. It's a lot of hours regardless, though. Yeah, what happened to this moose? This has just disappeared. There it is. I was too close to him. Are you kidding me? That's been the problem this whole time is that the tent was too close? Oh, man. You telling me I wasted like 15 time resets trying to get him to show up when it was just that I was too close to him? Oh my gosh. That's a big ol' L for Scarecrow. 
common scarecrow L, am I right? Laugh, I know, right? What channel is the no DLC playthrough? It's on the main channel as well. It is on the main channel. I just use a different Steam account for it. <laughs> You're so right. That's got to be the first thing I've seen you agree with, B. Jones. Common Scarecrow L is the first thing I've seen B. Jones ever agree with. That's insane. Well, he agrees anytime I say Brober bad or something like that, so I guess it's not the first time he's agreed. All right, what do we got next here? Probably up here. This little zone here. You love to see it. You do. You love to see it. You think they should add a great one lion? Yeah, that's a probably like top six pick for me. I think it's like my sixth most wanted species to get a great one. This is another zone I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Because it's just weird. It's uh, dedicating two tents for one moose that is very tough to hit a hard shot on. It's not very time efficient, so I do want to try and eventually get to abandon this zone. Gosh, he is zigzagging so much, man. Yeah, this is another zone I want to shoot down to twos. If possible. You'd like a Seek a great one? That would honestly be pretty cool. That's a very underrated pick that I think is definitely a cool one. I uh, know Way of the Hunter is not cross-platform. You would have thought that they would have done that, but yeah, they opted not to. Definitely interesting. Um, clicking new game in the main menu deletes your current save. The only thing that stays is your trophy lodge animals. So like anything you've mounted will stay. Everything else resets completely though, so I don't recommend clicking new game unless you want to start from scratch and only have your trophies. <gasps> yes! We've shot this zone down! Ah, oh. Yes! Don't mind if I do. Let's freaking go. That zone is finally shot down. Oh my gosh. I think this zone might be shot down, but I'm going to go check it real quick just in case. Gosh, that is so nice to see. We finally got that zone shot down. Guys, this HM is booming now. Like, we are so far into this already. When we started the day, we were probably between 50 and, uh, between 50 and 60 percent shot down. Nobody cares, Daily Chronicle. Nobody cares. You can go continue to play the way that you want, and you can let others play the way you want. If me playing a game differently than you ruins the game for you, that's a you problem. That means you're letting me affect the way that you play the game. Which, in my opinion, should never be a thing. Don't let what others do affect you. Especially in a video game where it doesn't affect you. Just absurd. And if you really can't let it go, go play Way of the Hunter or Classic. Blows my mind that somebody cares so much to let what a creator does completely ruin how they play the game and ruin their love for it. Playing Call of the Wild right now. Nice, dude. That's awesome, Caden. What's my favorite great one? Definitely the Moose Man. They're so good. 
The moose are a beautiful, great one. Guys need to learn manners these days. I know, right, man? It's almost like what I do doesn't affect anybody else because it's a single-player video game. Crazy concept, am I right? Crazy concept. I would say, if we're being honest, the only people that get affected by how one content creator plays is other content creators. That's the only person that could be potentially affected is other content creators. But something that I do in a single player game isn't going to affect somebody who's not doing YouTube, right? But if you're another content creator who, you know, maybe doesn't like the way another person plays, I suppose that it could affect them, but it's not going to affect an average player that just plays the game to enjoy the game. Poor kid probably came in here expecting me to just avoid an argument. Had another thing coming to him. That is a great one, Stubble Quail. Would you go for it? I'll go for any great one. However, there's some great ones that I would definitely uh, enjoy more than others. I can't exactly say that a quail would be the most fun great one to grind for, but I'd try for it at least. I feel like any great one they add, I, they add, I have to eventually get one of them. Or else I'll just feel like I don't have a complete collection, you know? How rare are the male Ibex? Or Mela Ibex? Uh, they're pretty rare. Virtually any Melanistic is really rare. Nice, Logan. That's awesome, dude. How do you find all your zones? The way that I find all my zones is just walking the map in all of the areas that zones can be for that species. And what I'll do is, you know, I'll set the time to the beginning of their drink time, walk all of the areas that they can be. And then once I've walked all the areas they can be, I'll go through the exact same place that I just went, but in reverse. That way, any herds that were not there the first time I went through will likely be there the second time. And the uh, concept behind it, right, in going in the opposite direction is, if I start here, there's a good chance like this first stretch of river that I follow, they might not have made it to their zone yet because it's early in the time. And then by the time I get to the end of the river, most of those will have had enough time to get to their zones. So then when you go in reverse, it's going to be the opposite. These will probably not be there early. And as you get down, these will start showing up. So ones you missed the first time will likely be there the second time. That's how I try to ensure that I can get through all of my map and not miss any of my zones. Because there's definitely many occasions where I've missed zones. Uh, like a year or two ago when... I didn't do it that way. Definitely something that I see as being pretty important. Got a two there. I think there should be one more male. Nice, Nay. I'm glad that you liked it, man. I'll be probably continuing the series soon. I just need to find a time that I can uh, sit down and record another episode. I've got so many different things that I've been trying to do recently on the channel that I keep forgetting to record no DLC playthrough. I think it's because it's on my second account, so like I don't actively think about it. I have to like remind myself like, oh yeah, I can swap accounts and play the no DLC playthrough. So if I can get to a recording day and actually remember that, then there'll be another episode coming out. Oh no, Broken Blades. Oh, man. Daily Chronicle, why, why are you coming in here just absolutely trying to rip me apart for playing a game differently than if you still enjoy, like, the knowledge and stuff? Like, you literally came in here telling me that I ruined the game. You literally came in here telling me that I ruined the game for you. What type of reaction did you expect to get out of it? I mean, I'm glad that you still like, like, the the tips and tricks and guides and stuff, but... That's not exactly how I'd recommend coming into a stream. If you want to get any type of positive reception. I'm very passionate about this game. And I love what I do. 
So I'm not going to just let somebody tell me that I ruined the game for playing it the way that I love. All right, I don't think we got anything over here. Oh yeah, it was a lot of fun, Caitlin. I enjoyed it. We were uh, we were doing pretty decent for being the first time that I played that game. I was uh, I was having a lot of fun with it. Either way, daily it, it is what it is. If that was an apology, then apology accepted. It's whatever. I'm good to just bury the hatchet. Just had to get my get my piece said there. Small male. Small female. Where's the other male? Hello? There's something there. Pop on out. I want to see what you are, sir. Come on. Come on. Come on. <sighs> it's a female. Wait, where's the male? Huh. Where is the male? I guess the male's not here. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Okay, we have a big four we left here. Guys, I think we can probably go around uh, most of our other zones and start shooting down the solo fours. I think we can go shoot down the solo fours now. Uh, no respawn here either. Okay, I think it's getting to a point where we're shooting so few per run that they're not respawning properly. So I think we are definitely going to have to start going around and shooting down the solos now. I think it's time. I think we've got enough big males stacked up that I think we can probably go shoot down the solos now. No respawn there. One of these is a solo, and then the other is part of this herd. I'm assuming that guy's part of the herd, and that guy's the solo. Uh, let's go check here again. This one was missing a male. What happened to Rev for Moose Grind? Uh, just too many places to look for Moose. Like... The map has moose, I think, across the entire map. And they are very, very difficult to uh, locate sometimes. Leighton just has way less moose and also less locations they can be. So it ends up being a really uh, smooth map to manage. Wow. Um. Wait a second. Oh, dude. Oh, my gosh. We managed this one down. Yes. That's what it was. That's why we couldn't find a big male, because there was none left. Yes, we got this map, or not map, we got this uh, zone managed down. Let's freaking go, guys. Now I can abandon this lake. This lake was a massive, like, it was a waste of a tent, honestly, because just one moose to shoot. That is huge. That is absolutely huge. This grind is looking insane. Okay, I do still need to check here. This is a place moose can be. But I've never actually seen a moose there. So I got a feeling that there definitely could be some there. The day we managed Layton down. I know, right, Caitlin? We've got so many twos today. I think we've easily got like seven, maybe eight twos and ones. And like small threes that are the same rack as a two. Um, Probably within a couple of months, Danny. There's our five there. That's our two there. Let's go check this lake. 
And it's looking like very, very soon we'll get to smoke all of these fives. We still got to go and shoot down some of the solo level fours because I've definitely got some fours lying around still. Um, I'm probably going to start leaving some of the mid-sized threes that are solos. Just so we don't have to shoot down as many because I think we're far enough. We just need to get rid of some of the remaining fours out of the solo zones. Later, Gamey E. Thank you for dropping in, dude. Yeah, Eli, and that's that's kind of my look on it as well. Like, I love herd management, but I'm not going to tell somebody that they can't play without it, right? I'm not going to say that they're bad at the game for not using it, because there's, there's really some people out there that will tell somebody they're just not good at the game if they don't do herd management. There's also people that tell people that they're cheaters if they do herd management, so... I don't want to be either of those people. I want to just let people play the way they want to play. Because I'd like others to do the same for me, you know? I've always had the mindset of, like, you know, treat other people the way you'd like them to treat you. Can we see all the great ones? And have you got a roe deer great one? There is no roe deer great one, uh, Caden. But um, if you want to see most of my great ones, aside from the fallow deer, I think, I do have a trophy lodge tour on the channel that is all of my great ones that I had at the time. You can probably see most of the fallow deer in, oh my gosh, in some of my fallow great one videos, though. I will at some point do another Trophy Lodge tour, though. I've had a lot of people requesting it. So, like, Pro XCK's hotspot map says Moose can be here. It also says Whitetail can be here. I've never seen a Whitetail here. Yeah, well, it has calmed down, uh, Thunder. Recently, there has not been as many people, like, thinking that herd management is, like, cheating or exploiting. Since the devs did come out... And clarify that they don't see it. Is that... Oh my gosh, there is more. Oh my gosh. <laughs> there actually was Moose here. Wow. That's one of our solo fours. Feels bad, man. I had a feeling there was still a few because I had seen a couple in solo zones last night on, like, the river. That's wild, though. That is wild. I've never found a whitetail here, even though it says they can be here. I didn't expect to find a moose here, not gonna lie. I wonder, can they be... Can they be here? That'd be very interesting if they... Oh my gosh, there's another. There's a freaking another! Oh my gosh. It's a... Oh no. I, I have the wrong... I, I don't have my gun! Oh! Well, this is a disaster. Oh my gosh, so there's two males here. Uh... Okay, let's plop this down over here. Boop. We'll have to shoot them next run. Where was I, though? What was I saying? I completely forgot. Um... Yeah, uh, as I was saying, it's not, it's not been as big of an issue recently of, like people like complaining about herd management and calling it cheating and stuff ever since the developers like fully clarified they don't view it as cheating or exploiting it's kind of calmed down people have just accepted the fact that it's going to be a thing and there's going to be lots of people to do it i mean even a lot of people that used to speak out against herd management have started using forms of it whether they want to admit it or not If anybody tells you that they're leaving twos or that they're light managing, it's the same as herd management. It's literally herd management. The only difference is you're not stacking like fives, but it's all the same. It is all the same stuff. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Call of the Wild. That's kind of how Jaxie explained it on the EW stream as well. Is that it's just a it's just a way to play the game. 
It is just a method of grinding your herds to get the best results. And that's how a lot of people view it as well. They're like, well, if I can herd manage and I'll get the best results, then why would I grind in another way? Me personally, I still like grinding the old way as well. Um, if it's not a great one grind, I'll do it just regular sometimes. Unless I really want a super rare of that species. Kind of base it off a species to species scenario for me. I've actually done an elk grind once, Danny. It was a lot of fun. Definitely a possibility we'll go back to it in the future, especially if they add an elk great one. Then it would be like a guarantee that I'd go back. I've never done a Roosevelt elk grind though, so maybe one of these days I'll do a Roosevelt elk grind because I still need a lot of the uh, the rares for them. I think I've only got a small albino and a small piebald, and I would love to get some larger rares. Wonder where this three is gonna be. We got this four right here though. There we go. There we go. Ooh, that is sketchy. <laughs> That's so sketchy. How's your Banting grind going? It's been going good, Bear Hunter. We took a little break from it, but we were getting five so often. It was like every 10 kills on that Banting grind. It's kind of a crazy grind, honestly. Kind of a crazy grind. I mean, yeah, but it's still very rare, Eli. You have to think, like, without a without doing herd management, a super rare is like one in thirty thousand. Sometimes even more, depending on the type of super rare. Like that's that's for like a piebald whitetail or something. It's probably more, more like one in fifty thousand if it's like an albino or a melanistic, because those are just in general more rare. If you're doing herd management, it doesn't take those chances down too much, or it doesn't increase the chances too much. It's like going from 1 in 30,000 to 1 in 10,000, right? It's still an absurdly rare thing. So I definitely don't feel like it's good to downplay people's super rares from HM. But I do feel like as the per as the people doing HM, you should specify if it's a herd management super rare. Because obviously they're slightly easier to get than without HM, but it's still very difficult. 1 in 10,000 is nothing to sneeze at. That's still very difficult. I think it's a little bit lower for stuff like piebald whitetail, though. Piebald whitetail, I'd say it's more like 1 in 6,000, but for like an albino or mela super rare, that's still so tough to get. The chances of that, even with herd management, is so low. Kind of blows my mind we got two albino super rare fallow deer so quick. feel like I used up all my fallow luck early, though. Because this recent grind for Fallow has been kind of rough. If you click new game, do you keep all your DLC and lodges? Yes, you keep all that stuff. Um, anything that you paid for with real money, you're not going to lose, you know? Would I kill? Would I consider a super rare and kill twenty three of an of a grind an HM super rare? Oh no, that's definitely not an HM super rare. There's no way that HM would have had any chance to take effect that early. Usually herd management, I wouldn't consider it a herd management rare until you're getting diamonds at least every forty kills. If you're getting a diamond every forty kills or less, then that's probably a herd management super rare. Um, if you if you get it within the first couple hundred kills, though, it that's a regular super rare. There's no way it could have took effect that quick, you know? All right, it's time. Let's manage down all of the uh, solos. This is about to be, <laughs> this is about to be quite the little run around.
No, I get that, Eli. I get that. Part of it for me is like I, I when it's mentioned in chat, I still have to like clarify points, even if it's not like the point that you were going for, you know? Because some people misunderstand messages. Because there's definitely some people in the community that like to downplay a super rare that somebody gets if they're using herd management. Essentially, like, not even writing it off as a real trophy. They'll just completely omit it out like, oh, that was an HM super rare. So I just had to, you know, clarify for those that didn't know. That it's still incredibly rare. Oh, no worries, Finn. No worries, man. Welcome back. I hope you've been doing good. You made it just in time. We're about to go run around the map and try to shoot down the solos. It's going to be, uh, we're going to be in for the long haul now, man. We're getting to the uh, more tough part of this grind. We've got all the zones stacked up. We've got a lot of twos and small threes and ones on the map. Now we just got to go through and find the remaining solos that have been bouncing around. You have any tips for me on YouTube? Just started. Want to see if I can get any tips to get better. Biggest tip I can give you, man. Go to YouTube. Type in the search bar, how to start a YouTube channel in 2023. That will bring up like an infinite amount of information that will be very helpful. That's how I started my channel was doing that little uh, YouTube search. And then from then on, I just kept watching videos from the channels that had the most helpful videos when I uh, typed that in. Um, vidIQ is a pretty good channel for that type of info. I believe Karen Manning's another channel that does a lot of YouTube tip stuff and help on like how to start things up. So that would be a couple of good channels to start out with trying to like uh, get information on how to start up a channel. Because they give a lot of info that can be applied to any channel, right? And they got a lot of helpful info. Levitating Levi, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. What DLCs are most helpful in your opinion? Uh, definitely the tripod and tree stand DLC. Um, if you're on PC, the tent and ground blind DLC, or yeah, tent and ground blind DLC, the ATV DLC, those are all useful. Uh, the Bloodhound's very useful, especially if you have trouble tracking in the game. That can be a very useful one. Uh, the Modern Rifles Weapon Pack and the Hunter Power Pack are a couple of the best weapon packs you can get. Uh, the High Tech Hunting Pack is a necessity if you want to hunt at night. The Night Vision Binoculars are game-changing for night hunting. Trying to think of what else is like a necessity DLC. I think those are the main ones. Like, uh, if you get those ones, you'll you'll be doing pretty good. You'll be pretty well off. And then if we're talking about maps, Yukon Valley is a really good one because it comes with the 300 Magnum and it's just a beautiful map in general. What's the highest kill Great One Grind you've heard of? Um, I heard of somebody getting a 20,000 kill Great One Grind. And I think that was for Red Deer, if I'm not mistaken. I think one of my uh, members had a 20,000 kill Red Deer Grind. But, like, it's hard to know if that's actually how long it was, right? Because if they didn't actually keep track of it with a clicker or, like, a counter app, then there's no way to know if it was actually that long. But that's the longest I've heard of from someone that I would consider to be somewhat credible. In fact, I don't even know if they ever got their Red Deer. I think last I heard it was, like, 21,000 kills and they didn't have it. How many super rares do you have? Let me see. I think we have 16. I think we have 16, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, it's a ton of kills, Deer Slayer. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Like, holy. 20,000 kills in a great one grind is... That's brutal. That is so brutal. My personal longest grind was that 8,300 kill bear grind and... That was rough. I couldn't imagine 20 kill or 20,000 kills. Couldn't imagine 20 kills either. That'd be insane. 
Give me that 20 kill great one. Come on. <laughs> What's my top three super rares that I want? Out of all the ones that I want that I don't already have, Diamond Albino Moose has got to be up there. Uh, Diamond Mellow Red Deer. Diamond Melanistic. I'd say Diamond Melanistic. Pheasant is number three. I'd say those are probably my top three. Um, though there's like so many... Uh, actually, I take that back. Remove the Diamond Albino Moose from there. Diamond Leucistic Rusadir. Oh my gosh, that'd be so gorgeous. Those things are beautiful. Diamond Leucistic Rusa, Diamond Mela Pheasant, and Diamond Mela Red Deer are my top three. They would just be incredible. That would be insane in the membrane. Yeah, true, oh dog, true. That's about how many red deer I've killed for like all six of my grinds. I had about 20,000 red deer in total for my six great one red deer. Which, I mean, that's still a lot of kills for six uh, great one red deer. I definitely did not have the luckiest red deer grinds. First two were each 3,000. Number three was 6,000. Number four was 6,700. And then uh, number five was like 820 and number six was like 180. So the last two were very good grinds, very lucky short grinds. First four though, they were awful. So like as an average, I've got a pretty average or a pretty high average kill count for Red Deer. Nice, Josh. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome, man. You love to see it. Oh, hey. We got any mails there? Is that a zone I've already got? Yeah, it is. Okay. Earlier on in this grind, I did have a couple of solos pop up here, so it's very possible that we could have some solos here. I think they were further down, though, like um, over in like this area. I used to have some solos that would pop up here and there. I play on PC, Finn. Hey, JC, how's it going, dude? Yeah, 2201 is rough, Caitlin. Hopefully you get that fallow soon. You have officially surpassed my longest fallow grind. Uh, no, uh, Brando. You don't want to stack diamonds constantly throughout your herd management grind. You only stack them long enough to get the rest of the map managed down, and then you kill them all and rotate on all of the respawns from those uh, diamonds. Essentially, what I like to do... What the? That sounded like a moose for a second, but it was a, it was a white tail. Uh, what I like to do is... I'll pick my main zones as I grind. Like, for the first hundred kills or so, I'm just hunting everything. Uh, then as I hunt, I'll, I'll keep track of what zones seem to get respawns the most reliably, like which ones get there really quick, which ones are in the wide open, uh, which ones have like a lot of shootable males and stuff. And I'll make those my main zones. Then from then on in the grind, I try to stack diamonds in those main zones that I want to make my final grinding zones. And once I've stacked up a bunch of diamonds in those zones, Go around the rest of the map and try to shoot the rest of your animals down to low levels. And then once you get to a thing, or not thing, once you, once you get to a point where you think that most of the like remainders of those animals are shot down, then you go back to all of your stacked diamonds and kill all of them. And then just keep rotating on those zones that you were stacking diamonds in. And then, at that point, on average, you should be getting diamonds pretty quickly. Because what those diamonds are doing, they're not only, like, raising the average score of the animals on your map, but they're also acting as placeholders. So a 2 or a small 3 or a 1 can't spawn in that particular zone that you really want to grind. So you're not only helping uh, push down the average score of your respawns, but you're using those as placeholders for your main zones as well.
which can be absolutely huge. Nice, Lando. That's awesome, dude. You know what I just realized, guys? I just realized that we never finished our herd management for Rocky Elk. I'm pretty sure I've stacked up like five or eight Rocky Elk on my map like months ago, and we never killed them. So uh, maybe one of these days I'll have to make a video going through and killing all of my diamond Rocky Elk. Because I know for a fact I've got at least four or five level five stacked and a few fours that look like they could be diamond as well. We never killed them off because that was around the time where I stopped doing herd management for a while. And we just never went back and uh, took them down. We definitely got to do that soon. That could be a fun little uh, video or stream. <laughs> Probably, Caitlin. Could you imagine, like, I kill off all those diamond rocky elk, and then next thing you know, I get, like, seven great one pairs or something? At that point, I would probably feel like it did affect them. I'd be like, oh, were these elk holding me back? Even though it probably wouldn't. That would sure make me feel like it. Okay, uh, there's something I gotta do. I gotta check these little specks of water. I know some people have got white tail to drink there. I, I gotta make sure that I don't have moose there. If I have moose there, I might cry a little bit. <laughs> that would be such a bad spot to get a moose zone. Could you imagine if I have a group of like four there? Oh, that would be so rough. That'd be so rough. Just waiting for a moose call. Please, no moose call. And if there is something here, make it a solo. If it's a solo, I won't be as annoyed. Okay, that's the two we spooked off. That's fine. That was not at this spot here. Go see. Nice, Finn. Um, not really Hero Blaze, but I, I know who Nirvana is. I don't really listen to the music, though. I primarily just listen to rap. That's pretty much it. Occasionally some metal here and there. Hello? Nothing here. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, my opinions are exact opposite, Eli. I can't stand country music. Probably just because, like, I was forced to listen to it as a kid. Like, that's the only music I was allowed to listen to. So I just grew to despise it. And now I just can't listen to it without cringing. It's unfortunate. I probably would have been able to like some of it if it wasn't like the only thing I was allowed to listen to as a kid. That has a major effect on how you view uh, different music. Like if you're if you're not allowed to listen to something and only allowed to listen to something else, that very much shapes how you see it. That's a four right there. Let's go four down. Solo 4 hits the ground. Yeah, the only country music I can tolerate is old country music. I can't stand the new stuff. It just... It's so cookie cutter and basic. Older older country isn't bad though. Like if it's if old country's playing from like the 80s or the 70s, I'm not going to turn it off necessarily, but it's not my first choice, you know. I can't stand the new stuff though. I can't stand the new stuff at all. It's the same for pop music too though. Like I can't stand pop music. I listen to a lot of underground hip hop. A lot of underground stuff. Artists that a lot of people probably have never even heard of. 
mixed in with some mainstream artists as well here and there. There was a male there. What was it, though? Well, we'll find out later. Let's go grab this four here. Speaking of music, Trippy Red's new album is tonight. At least that's what I was reading. So I'm excited to see what he does with it. From the, from the singles he released, it sounds like he's going back to his more, like, melodic... Melodic style. Even though I kind of liked his more, like, uh, aggressive rage production type of stuff he's done with his last two albums. I hope he still has a few rage songs on there. Because that's definitely my favorite style from him. But, uh, I'm definitely interested to see what he's going to do with it. And then I know Yeet's got an album on supposedly the 18th. Excited for that as well. 243, boom. Alright guys, I gotta go eat dinner. Uh, my wife just brought dinner up, so I'm going to go ahead and take a break real quickly. So if you guys need to get up and get some of the drinks, stretch a little bit, grab some food, grab a snack, then go do that. And we'll be back in 20 to 30 minutes.
Hello, guys. I'm back. I'm back. Hope you're doing good. We are back at it again. Gonna try and smoke some more solos down. Smoke all the solos on the map. I'm doing good, Lincoln. I'm doing good. Was your food good? Yeah, it was great. It was like a uh, like a chicken noodle soup type of thing. Pretty good. Or like a chicken vegetable soup. It wasn't... I, yeah, there wasn't noodles. It was like a chicken vegetable soup. Pretty yummy. I was definitely liking it. Now let's see if we can uh, get this map shot down all the way. Get rid of these freaking solos. Get them all to be like twos and threes. And it'll just be beautiful sailing from here on. Got a female over there. Nice, stray gamer. Should be a two right here, right? Yeah, it's a two. Oh, you're new? I'm gonna leave it. That's not a four, so I'm gonna leave it. He's small enough. With these solos, I'm not gonna be as picky. That guy, though, that's a big three. He has to go. We have to shoot down this big three. Because he is practically a level four. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank you. Hey, Rafkees, how's it going, dude? Nice, Gunner. That's awesome, man. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to hear it. They should make more moose multi mounts. I agree, man. I agree 100%. The one that we've got is kind of cool, but like I'd love a moose multi mount with like two or three male moose. Would be awesome. Like two males and a female would be sick. When will I play with Rooster again? I would imagine that we will sometime soon. We had a lot of fun with that last stream, so. I'd say it's very likely there will be another rooster collab in the future. Um, I will be trying to get that highlight video edited down from our stream, though. So, in the near future, like within the next three or four days, expect a highlight video from the uh, stream with Rooster. Of all the challenges and stuff that we were doing, there's a solo for. We're just trying to get all these solo fours and the big solo threes. Once all those are shot down, we'll be good to go. Shoot all the uh, fives and stuff out of our main zones and start rotating. I think we should be good enough. And then if it happens to not be good enough, we can always stack the fives up again. White tail? Hello? <laughs> Freaking white tail, man. I can't get away from them. No matter what grind I'm doing, the white tail have to show up. They're like, hey man, remember when you used to grind us for 27 different great ones and still don't have a typical? Here we are. Silly white tail deer. They're just here to taunt me. What's my favorite combo for the moose? I would say Fabled Birch, Typical Rack. It's the combo that Lady got as, I think, her most recent Great One Moose, or it was at least her first fur type. 
first uh, fabled fur type on a moose. And I really want that combo super bad. It's such a good combo. Like, just phenomenal. I was super jealous when she got that as her first fabled fur type moose. Like, holy man. Yeah, the Ashen does look kind of cool sometimes, for sure. I think the only problem I have with the Ashen is that sometimes it looks a little bit too much like a common. Um, but with certain antler types, it looks pretty good. Like, I think the Spider Rack looks incredible on it. And I feel like the typical Rack would also look super good on it because of the fact that it's got a more pale face and the, the typical Rack is a lighter colored antlers. So I think it could look really good with that combo. I think that could definitely look pretty sick. What is the moose fur type with the spots? I believe that's the fabled speckled, if I'm not mistaken. I have really started to like that uh, fur type as well. That one's grown on me a lot. It has really grown on me. To be honest, I like all of them. I mean, there's pe- Think of it this way, Jet. There's people that have accused Brobra of using mods. Can you believe that? Brobra? Of all the people to accuse of using mods, Brobra's not the one I thought people would. <laughs> but there's some people that have. Just goes to show that it doesn't matter what you do. If you're, uh, if you're a content creator on the internet, people are going to call you a cheater. Yeah, Thunder, literally there was a couple people that were calling Brobra a cheater. Can you believe that? Grober, the guy that's like never took a grind seriously in his life and has only done one grind in his life ever. Somebody called him a cheater. Can you believe that? That is absurd. This goes to show literally anybody, anybody that makes content is going to get accused. I mean, just look at all the like top pros in like Counter Strike. They get accused of cheating all the time. I remember back in the day playing uh, CSGO a lot. I'd get accused of cheating at least once a week, and I was not a good player. I was a very mediocre Counter-Strike player. But some people just can't accept that they've lost or that somebody did better than them, so they just resort to calling them a cheater. As a way to kind of cope with it. Oh, all the time, Jed. I, I get accused of cheating so much. And in my eyes, that just means that I'm doing something right. If I'm getting accused of cheating by people, that just means I'm doing something right. Because they just can't fathom that I'm able to get all the trophies that I do. And so they're only the only thing they can think of is, oh, it must be cheats. So to me, that just means that I'm doing pretty good. But I just take it as a compliment, to be honest. There's no bigger compliment than somebody calling you a cheater. Bra or, uh, Sky, thank you so much for the uh, super chat. I almost said cry because you had cry in the message. <laughs> Got trolled by a level 9 jackal. Oh my gosh, that is painful. That is pain. Yikes. Sorry to hear that. That's rough. <laughs> I know, right, Chip? Gosh. Crazy. <laughs> Anything over there? Nope. No big male solos through here. I'm glad that we already killed uh, three solos, though. We found them quicker than I thought we would. The solos are the toughest part of this grind because they bounce across like everything. And so the fact that we killed three of them in this area, that's, that's a win in my book. We're making good progress.
Nice, Lexi, that's awesome. You know, sometimes it's nice to be running around Leighton. Just, you know, going after the solos because it's a little more relaxed hunt. A little more of a relaxed hunt because we're kind of just running around looking for the few remaining moose and gives me time to like chat with you guys. You done with fallow deer? No, I'm not done with fallow deer. I probably won't be done with fallow deer until we surpass at least 10 fallow. I'd like to get a few more fabled mocha and typical racks. Uh, we kind of just bounce back and forth though. Like I really want to get another bear. I want to get a few more moose. I want to get a few more fallow. And I still need to go back eventually and get the typical rack whitetail. So we'll be bouncing back and forth between all the different great one species a decent bit. Until we have all the stuff that we want. And then like the, the, the other thing is like they're always releasing new great ones. So then it's like, oh, now we got more stuff to go for. I don't think we'll ever be done like bouncing between different great ones. It's very unlikely I'll get everything that I want before the next great one gets released. That just seems quite impossible. Unless I'm very, very lucky. Which I suppose could happen. You want the Irish Elk Mocha Rack? Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad, Thunder. Oddly enough, I want a Spoon Mocha Rack. Spoon Mocha Rack. <laughs> mocha Spoon Rack. And I want a Typical Rack Mocha as well. I feel like those two look pretty good on the mocha. Honestly, I want them all on the mocha, to be fair. I want them all. And it's kind of the same for like the fabled painted as well. I've already got a big rack and a, uh, Irish elk rack on fabled painted. I'd like to get the spoon and the blade rack for the painted. I feel like painted and mocha are just so incredible. Yes, yeah, same, Mr. Call of the Wild. Like the painted is so beautiful. It's just such a unique looking fur type. Welcome back, Deer Slayer. Uh, no, Lincoln, it's not, sadly. Probably never will be either, just due to the amount of time, effort, and money that would take. Yeah, definitely Thunder. My, you guys know my opinion on the Irish Elk Rack, though. I feel like uh, it only looks good if you get a lower scoring variation that points upwards more. Uh, the ones that are almost flat, I don't like. Uh, like my, my fabled painted Irish Elk Rack, I'm not a fan of how that looks because I got one of the racks that's really flat. But my fabled hooded Irish Elk Rack, I really like because it's the one that's pointed upwards more. I feel like that is the best possible look for that rack. When it's pointing up, it just looks so good. Oh, you do, Trevor? That's wild. I'm really happy I've not got a duplicate yet. Totally possible we could get a duplicate at some point, though. In fact, I would say it's inevitable that eventually we will get a duplicate. It went that way, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we saw. Hello, Moosey. I'm pretty sure this is a two, if I'm remembering right, but I want to make sure. 
Last thing we need is a four to run off and get away from us. Yeah, it's likely a small one. Likely a small one. Oh yeah, this is the guy that we spooked off. It's a small one. 395 to 470 is tiny. Absolutely puny. This should be a herd up here. And I think it's a small male too. Yep. That little feller there. Imagine doing a moose grind on Yukon. Uh, Caitlyn is doing a moose grind on uh, Yukon. And I'm pretty sure um, one of Ibai's friends, uh, Jerk at Work, I'm pretty sure he has done a lot of Yukon grinding. In fact, I think he's got at least like five or six off of Yukon. Like five or six great one moose. Honestly, insane. I couldn't do it. I could not do a Yukon grind. I would go crazy running that big river. Are they still adding maps to the Hunter Classic? They have not added a map in years to Classic. I think at this point, they're pretty much done adding maps to uh, Classic, and they're just fine-tuning the stuff that's already in the game. I've noticed that what they've been doing with Classic in recent years is just adding new species to existing maps that were missing stuff, um, revamping some older animals to make them look better, adding new... Uh, skins and weapons and stuff like they've just been kind of fine-tuning the systems that are already in place and honestly seeing how they're handling classic it gives me hope for like the future of call of the wild right because i i hope that even after call of the wild like stops being updated right because it's inevitable that eventually eventually call of the wild will reach its end in terms of content just how every game eventually ends up but if they do the same thing with Call of the Wild, where they go back and, like, start reworking a lot of older stuff to just make it look really good and work really well. Then I could see this game being able to live on for years and years. So I really hope they take the same route with Call of the Wild that they do with Classic. Whenever they get done adding maps and stuff, just go back and revamp a lot of the old animals that need uh, improvements, like... White-tailed deer and black tail and elk for like their true racks like their antlers definitely need some improvements So I'd love to see them go back eventually and just kind of revamp them Maybe add some more fur types to the great one red deer and add some new fur types to the white tail They could honestly do a lot of cool stuff to keep the game going even after they quit making DLC for it Yeah, possibly, Cooper. That's kind of what I'm thinking they'll do as well. I'm sure that even if they stop doing DLCs eventually, as long as they're still adding stuff like Great Ones and like non-typicals and things, then that'll be huge. That'll be huge. Do there. Ma'am, shush. Shush! I know I'm in your zone, but jeez. So mad for no reason. Is a Yukon Moose Grind possible? It is, but it takes a very long time to manage down. And if you're not doing herd management, well, there's a lot of ground to cover in terms of like stuff moving around and things and figuring out where they're going. I'd say the only way to grind it without herd management would really be to just avoid solos entirely. Caitlyn's doing kind of like a hybrid grind on a Yukon. What Caitlyn is doing is she's managing down the river and uh, she's not managing the rest of the map. Which is, uh, I I'd say that's a pretty interesting take on and probably will work out pretty well in the long run. Hey, Hunter Pro. Hope you're doing good, dude. Do you think they're almost done adding DLC to Call of the Wild? I don't think they are, no. I think they've got at least a few years left in them. I would imagine Call of the Wild will probably still get stuff added for at least a few years. 
Because uh, even after they stopped, um, or even after Call of the Wild came out, right, they still updated Classic for a few years, so. With no new hunting game from EW, like, anywhere in the foreseeable future, at least as far as we know, I'd say the game's got at least, like, three to five years left in it before they stop adding stuff. I could be wrong, but that would be my prediction, is that there's at least three to five years of DLC still to come. Hopefully, at least. Because I think with Classic, they um, they released Call of the Wild, and then for like two years or so more, they still added like maps and things like that. And then they uh, stopped updating it for a while, and eventually they picked up the updates again and started improving a bunch of the old stuff. Curious if they'll do that with Call of the Wild. Hard to say, but it could be cool if they do. Jeez. This little stretch is pretty dead in terms of solos. We didn't see any throughout here. Oh, I bet there's solos here. I haven't checked here in so long. Let's go over there and see if there's any solos on that area. Hey, Flanky, how's it going, man? My gosh, Chip, 66. Holy, you're just speeding through them. If I leave solos alone, no HM will work. Not entirely, Fabs. Think of it this way. Um, herd management is really depending on a bunt like a certain percentage of your population of males for that species being a certain like score or lower. And if you look at it this way, let's say there's like I don't know the exact amount of like solo moose there is, but let's say there's like 40 or 50 or 60 solo moose, right? If you just never manage them down, you're taking away a huge percentage of stuff that you could be managing down to low levels. And so, like, you may not be able, you'll never be able to achieve the same levels of herd management if you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, shoot down the solos. You'll only be able to reach the peak of herd management if you manage all the solos and then some of the herds as well. I try to get at least 70% of my males to be the required low level. For moose, that would be level twos and level ones or level threes with the same rack as a level two. Well, that's that's what I was explaining, Fabs. I was just explaining it like in a more like in-depth and like lengthy explanation. It's still possible, but it will never get to the same level as if you were managing down solos. Think of it this way, you might get a diamond every 40 kills, but if you manage down the solos, you might get a diamond every 20 kills. That's the best way I can put it, I guess. Tony with the six months. How's it going, Tony? Hope you're doing well, sir. There is a solo here. Honestly, we can leave him though. He's a he's a mid-size three. Small to mid-size. Where's the rest of these? Do we have any tents we can place? We do. Okay. Let's do a couple time resets, see what's here. We'll go all the way back here. Yo, Dynamic, how's it going, man? Good to see you, Dynamic. Okay, yeah, we can uh, we can abandon this area. That three is probably fine. I just don't want any big fours as solos. That's the big thing. Try to shoot down all the fours. What was my first ever diamond? It was a red deer off of Parque Fernando.
Nothing over there. Let's run up north, I think. Oh yeah, tons of people still play it, uh, Liam. It is still the most popular hunting game to date. Call of the Wild, I think, like, doubles the numbers, maybe even triples the numbers of, like, Way of the Hunter and Classic. Call of the Wild is still very popular. In fact, I think it's more popular than it's been in a long time. The Australia map they released recently really, like, did wonders for the game. Okay, that zone is all shot down as well. What's the smallest, uh, lowest scoring animal you've got? I don't even know because every single animal is scored differently, so I don't think there's really a way to measure that. A bear! How dare you interrupt my moose hunt. I'm not hunting you right now, bears. Get out of here. No, I haven't shot the diamond duck yet. Um, I just don't want to take time to go back for it. It's on my map, so it's not like it's going to disappear. I'll probably get it someday, but we'll see. Nice, Jet. Oh, really, Mr. Call of the Wild? That's wild, man. I need to do some more TikTok stuff. I, I've kind of been slacking recently. I need to upload some more of my shorts onto TikTok. Come on, Solo Mooseys, where are you? So I think we're going to run up the left and then run down the right side. Scour the uh, map for any solos. <laughs> that sounds like a terrible idea, Merle. Especially now that I'm managing Moose on here. Hey there. Um, are you small enough to leave? I don't think so. I think we have to shoot that one. I don't know. Mmm. I think I'm going to leave it. I feel like we got the map managed down enough that I just want to get rid of the fours that are solos. Solo fours are primarily what I'm trying to shoot down. Because the way I'm looking at it now is I've already got over half of my map down to level 2s and small 3s and level 1s. So as long as I shoot down all the 4s that are solos and all the like big 3s that score about the same as a 4, then having like a few mid-sized 3s isn't going to hurt the HM too much. So we should be good to leave those. Like as long as they're not big, big 3s or 4s, then we'll probably leave them. Hey, Cheetah, how's it going, man? Thank you, Jet. Thank you, thank you. Just turkey. Stop, stop yelling at me. Uh, yeah, Jace, that, that's pretty good for sure. I got my first diamond at level 51, so you're ahead of me. That's for sure. Got a female moose there. Tripod from when we were whitetail hunting. I really need to go through and pick all these up. Like, I just got random tripods chilling everywhere. Want to go home and cry fallow deer so bad? I bet, man. I bet, my dude.
Hey Armstrong, how's it going? You didn't miss too much. Uh, we're just running through the map trying to find all of our solo level 4s now. We're shooting any level 4s or big level 3s that are solos. We've got most of our main zones uh, stacked up with diamond potential 4s or level 5s. Well, yeah, Cheetah, but you gotta think, this was back before people really knew too much what diamonds were. This was, like, shortly after diamonds were really, like, discovered and started becoming a target. This was, like, five years ago that I was level 51 and got my first diamond. I think it was, like, five years ago. Might have been longer, even. It was at least five years ago, though. Yeah, definitely, Cheetah. Like, back then, it was a whole different game. Back then, finding a diamond was, like, a really, uh, really crazy thing. And then over time, people have learned more about finding diamonds and how to get them. And it's become a little bit easier. And then, herd management became popular, and now it's like, if you really, really want a diamond, you just manage down that species. Oh, you! That's a big boy four right there. Not a hard shot, I don't think, but that will be vitals. Got him. Uh, yeah, casual gamer, I would recommend, uh, first of all, stop spamming my chat. That's a good recommendation. Uh, number two, I would recommend checking out the beginner's guides that I've got. I got a full series, uh, based off like starting fresh and kind of talking about what I do at each level, how I get money, um, stuff like that. I'd recommend checking out, uh, that. Just type in Scarecrow the Hunter Beginner Series, and it should come up on YouTube for you. And I also have a playlist on the channel. Of that beginner series. That might actually be the easiest way to find it. Just go to the playlists and find the beginner series playlist. I think it's called like the beginner's guide playthrough. Female. Hello. Quack quack. Ah, quack quack. Hello. Lots of ducks there. Trying to manage my herds on Tiabaroa for red deer. My stags keep swapping zones. Had a herd full of fours and below, but now I've got a six in it. You know what I'm doing wrong? Uh, you're not doing anything wrong. That's pretty normal. There's some that will bounce around. It's very likely that that six is a solo stag. Uh, so he's not necessarily tied to the herd. He's just using the same zone that that herd is using. Solos can be very tricky because a solo can join the same zone as a herd but still be counted as like a solo animal. So it's likely that that six is a solo that just happened to show up in the same zone. I would recommend, I would recommend spotting that level six. Don't shoot it, just spot it. And then go up to that zone and try to find a drink zone track from that particular stag. And then when you click on it, it should tell you like if it's a a one stag drink zone or if it's a full herd I would recommend trying that and then if it does happen to be from that herd you know obviously shoot it if it's a solo then you can decide whether or not you want to shoot it but yeah that's that's pretty normal you're gonna have stuff popping up in zones where you don't remember shooting them I mean even right now I get random moose popping up in zones that I normally wouldn't have that many moose in it's just part of the grind yeah, no problem, Gingy. Hopefully it helps. 
Hopefully it helps out quite a bit. And hopefully I said your name right. I'm assuming I'm assuming it's Jinji. It also could be could be Jingy, I think. I, I'm assuming Jinji. I might be wrong though. That was a Mella Mallard. Are you sure? Maybe. I mean, if it is, we'll see it eventually again. With the amount of times I'm gonna have to run through this map to like manage down these moves, we'll definitely see it again at some point if it was. Uh, this is my this is my listing of moose maps, Fabs. So for herd management, if you're doing herd management, I'd say Leighton number one, Medved number two, Revontuli number three. If you're not doing herd management, uh, Revontuli number one, Medved number two, Leighton number three. That's the uh, order that I would go in, depending on which method you're using. Because, like, you know, some maps are easier to herd manage. Others are easier if you're shooting everything. Because, like, with herd management, the less animals there is, the easier it is to manage it down. And Leighton has such a low amount of moose compared to, like, Yukon that uh, it ends up being a quick map to manage. But if you're not doing HM, Rev's definitely going to be best because they're really easy to find. Especially in the northern half. Like, the northern half of Rev is loaded with moose. And they're all in very easy to find locations. Okay, I think at this point we need to go probably through here. And then maybe do a run through the swamp. I think Balmond Swamp is going to be a place we go to as well. Uh, no, Mr. Call the Wild, they can't. Oh, I did get it right? Amazing. Glad that I got it right. I've been kind of surprised that usually whenever I ask somebody if I got their name right, most of the time the answer is yes, and it always blows my mind that I got it right, because I always feel like I'm saying it wrong, and then it turns out that a lot of the times it's right, so glad I didn't mess it up. Hey, Hunter boy, how's it going, dude? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing phenomenal. Hope you're having a really good day. Yeah, Vikings, that was... I, I didn't even think that I hit it at first. Like, I was so shocked. Me and Rooster had a lot of fun that stream. Like, we were having a lot of fun with that. No, I haven't got the Super Rare Banting yet. Um, I'll probably do a stream on Super Rare Banting grinding. Sometime soon after we get this map managed down. Because once it's managed down, then I can uh, have a little more relaxed to grind. But like right now, I'm hyper focused on managing this map. But uh, once we get it managed, we'll probably return to a little bit of Bantang grinding here and there. Yeah, that's a solo. That's technically... I think it's small enough we can leave it. Like I was saying, we're just shooting the big threes or the fours right now for the solos. That guy is pretty tiny. He's going to score like 150s. Maybe even 140s. But probably around like 150. So I can leave him, I think. And for those just joining, the only reason I'm leaving them is because we've got, like, more than half of our map managed down to twos already. So for the solos, I'm just going to try and get the fours out of here. going to try and kill all the fours that are solos. And then, like, any of the threes that'll score, like, 180s or 190s, those will die as well. What map should you hunt? Hmm. How about Revontuli Coast Cheetah? I know it's a response I give a lot of people, but Revontuli, you just can't go wrong with a nice Rev hunt. Rev is just, it's just too good. It's just too much fun.
You know, I bet a lot of these solos are in Belmont Swamp area now that I think about it more. I bet a lot of them are there. What's my favorite great one? My favorite great one is the moose. I think they're just absolutely gorgeous. What's my least favorite map? Um, probably Mississippi. Just because I feel like the map didn't really hold its interest. Like, it didn't really hold anybody's interest over time. It was very hyped up and excited and exciting the first like month. And then after that, it just kind of fell off. Like, uh, it, it's just such a brushy map. The gators spook off everything. So it makes it hard to hunt anything else that is like drinking around where gators are. Almost every single species there, there's a better map to hunt them on like bears. It's better to hunt them on Silver Ridge. Whitetail, there's like three maps that are better than Mississippi. And like uh, most of the stuff that would be interesting either doesn't have a drink zone or drinks at night. Unfortunately, like the raccoons drink at night. The, uh, the quail don't have a drink zone, obviously, because they're quail. But they're just so absurdly hard to get a diamond or rare of. And then you've got stuff like the Gray Fox, but New England is better for Gray Fox. The only redeeming quality it may have is the Gators and the fact that they did get a rework. Other than that, Mississippi is just not that great anymore. I mean, Eastern Turkeys are on New England as well, so... Man, it's unfortunate that Eastern Turkeys are, are on two of my least favorite maps. Like, I love the Eastern Turkey. I think it's my favorite turkey. But, like, New England and Mississippi are the only maps they're on. It's unfortunate. What would be the best first great one to grind for? Let me think. Probably Fallow Deer. I'd say Fallow Deer is the best uh, great one to go for as your first. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and end the stream. It's starting to get kind of hot in here. AC is not doing as much work as I needed to, sadly. So I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. That way I can get my PC to cool down a little bit. It's puffing out tons of hot air at the moment. But uh, we will be back probably tomorrow, right? What's tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's Friday. We'll be back with another stream tomorrow. And a video as well. So uh, until then, thank you guys for dropping by. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.